We're live. It's the thick boy. It's the thick boy. All right. Yeah. Welcome to 10 Minutes of Shab. San Jose Jack Johnson Phi Companion. Yeah, B. The first ever in its establishment. <laughs> Me and Gerardo just go. We decided we love the Phi Companion. We love Brendan Schaub. We're just finding out who Bradley Martin is. I don't know who Ben Davis is. Um, oh, is that the guests? Yeah, Isn't I'm just ben reading Davis it off. His, his, uh, his old boss from Showtime. Yeah, or something like that. Right? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like it, but I have no idea. All as right, usual. So, as you guys can tell, this is a different setup. We still have the comments on screen. I, I made the, the screen so ridiculously large, so hopefully we can read your comments as we do this. Oh, right. Yeah, Seven yeah. days a week. A week. Ismail, first comment, dude. No no notice, by the way. We didn't announce this at all. No, so we'll see who joins. But boner alert. So we are excited. Keep it in, keep in mind, this is our first time doing this, so we're just going to go live. We don't know what we're doing here, B. We don't know how it will, how it will work. Um, we got that work ethnic. Yeah. Team, we're just putting in time. We just, w maybe we did an episode earlier. Yeah. Maybe oh. we'll keep you busy. So here we are, the Fight Companion Live. Are you ready to start this, dude, or do you want to? Yeah. Am I ready to start this? <laughs> Maybe next time we should get the, uh, join our Patreon and we'll get the UFC fight on pay-per-view. Yeah, dude, we should have it playing on there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, next time, though. We, we need more subs for that. A lot of screens in front of us right now. We could watch the fight while they watch the fight. I yeah. mean, I guess I could do that. No, nah, we're good. Not okay. today. Okay. We don't even know if people are going to show up. That's true. But let's go ahead and do this live, dude. That are just like, oh, yeah, he's huge. Look at him. But, like, yeah. they don't, you know, they don't understand the details. Well, I, I think also because it's you. Because it's, like, Bradley Martin. Whoa. You know what I mean? Like, I think that Who's really that? is weird. That is not what yeah. I expected um, another I guest this, to look I think like. yeah. any ranked That looks like the guy that um, take you in a street fight. Mm. is getting any with Ariana Grande or, Maybe even unranked, dude. I think there's a couple oh, dogs outside um, the top the, 15. The, the broad, uh, Broadway guy. That's my take on it. I think I'm going to start just. Yeah, I don't know about that. Mighty Mouse for sure. My, my what about him? Because he's just so well. Why? Because he's a turtle. He's, he's the goat. Yeah, Some yeah. refer to him as so the goat. Yeah. He does look like, like Ted Bundy. Yeah. yeah. There's oh, a debate for either. I mean, yeah. John oh, Jones, let me do this. That's kind of easy for me. I, like. I wonder. Yeah, I, I how does Shab say Jones Ted Bundy? I don't remember. Is it Bundy? Bundy. Just fast. He calls him Al Bundy. Al Bundy. Al Bundy. No data. Is it working? Competition. Excellent condition. Let me check on my phone. Can people see us in the chat? Mike. Think so. Mike Aranda, great guy. I never met him. Can you see us, Mike? In, like, yeah, look at. Like, yeah, okay, it's so working. probably, that's, probably and that's ten Bundy, like ten, ten like, Bunny. Like, <laughs> like, the the All right, so they can see us. See, like, they, this guy is like, like strong, strong, strong choice to come on with the black turtleneck. Yeah. I, I mean, I like black turtlenecks, but it's just like me, with boy, the rest of them, you know, they're gonna be wearing weird baseball jerseys and trucker hats, and you come in dressed up like Steve Jobs and Broadway. Dog on the ground. Yeah. That's but what the it, fuck it, just it, got done watching your joke, man tears review on Patreon. Yeah, oh, just, thanks, Kitty. Thank you, Kitty. Kitty's hooch. Today. We just and watched I, uh, man tears by I, Brian I'm Callen on Patreon. B. Welcome to the Patreon, Kitty. Hope you're enjoying it. So much respect for people who do it because we are not watching terrible specials, except for Shane. Shane was funny. Yeah. Also, it looks like Ari Shafir Jew is going to be next, right? Yeah. The next one is Ari Shafir's Jew, which I like Ari. So voted on by the patrons. We'll see. Yeah, Haven't seen made. it. A, so we're watching a live fight campaign, so it's hard to like kind of pause it and talk about it. But uh, let's so let's just go off appearances. Who's got the fly is fresh fit, dude? Um, I kind of like the turtleneck thing, to be honest. Just like I mean, that's the worst. Weird cats and snakes and all that stuff. He's an animals guy. Feral lizards. Bowling shirt. Something yeah. you might see some rich guy wear in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> his brand, his brand um, growing a mullet. <laughs> yeah, I think he might be stealing a bit there, yeah. Yeah. But, but cool. This is why I think it's important you train because oh. obviously the mighty mouse. I actually like Brandon's stuff, hair. The, uh, I, I wish I could grow it like that. I wish I had hair. Period. B. <laughs> two yeah. shots. Yeah. And then I was like, I would I definitely know. take well, that that's hair. That's a possibility. Like you're never gonna fight. Also, peek behind the curtain for the viewers. We uh, got pizza, gonna baby. We're gonna, we're waiting for the pizza to show yeah. up. Yeah. Maybe I should just blow my uh, blow my wad on the fight since we're watching. I mean, we are gonna be stuck here. Yeah. Might as well just do it. Oh, you're gonna. Oh shit, for sure. Why not, dude? Can you buy it from here? Yeah, dude, on that TV. I will just buy it on whatever. All right, so go for that. I want to hear what they're saying, and then I'll I'll keep you updated. 
which is right, is anyone else ironic, watching the like fight? Both. I know. Yeah, is know. anybody watching the fights? We should probably put that in the title. Yeah. UFC. Yeah. If you're gonna buy it, we should be like, yeah. there it is, right there. Amazon. Ever heard of it? <laughs> How much is it? How much money am I blowing on this? If you really had a problem, maybe seventy bucks. You got well, it's gonna be more than that, Papa. But um, not maybe it might not be much more. Let's see here. Medium Johnson asked what we have on the pizza. We just did a simple pepperoni today. Yeah. If you really want to fight, I'll just fight. I don't. Uh, and the hypocrisy kind what of a download the ESPN for Fire TV. US, Come on, UFC you know what fight saying, companion. Right? What number of, like, uh, UFC is it? Two ninety one, Bapa. Start a company with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, and Jake and his own. It's a thick boy. A it's a thick. So they're, they're talking a mile a minute. Yeah, yeah. a lot of Addies. This is fast talk. Yeah, I just want to see him get me. No breaks in the action from Fight Companion. You were talking to San Jose Fight. San Jose Jack Johnson <laughs> Fight Companion yeah, Companion. <laughs> we take breaks, B. <laughs> Yeah, but like I could still like Jake. But look how far him. off. Why are they talking about <laughs> Jake? <laughs> where you're at on the screen? What's that? <laughs> look where you're at on the screen. So Am I? Oh, dude. <laughs> Should I be over here more? I was talking about or the other way? Uh, you're we good. You're good because you have to look at the screen here. Oh, it's still installing. I was like. But also, you don't lose. My internet's good, phone. though. Addy's on. If, if Addy's seen baddies, por favor. There we go. not like that. I don't <laughs> see. I'm yeah, watching the fights, dog. It's tight. Dink that. Winkler, dude. Oh, oh Dink Winkler. We're about to be watching the fights, too. What toppings on the pizza? Okay, that's where we left off. He's like Trump. Waiting for Shab to say something redacted. I mean, you don't have to wait too long for that, Bapa. All right, let's hear this. When he comes back after the fight. up. I'm going to fucking do some rolling, do some You're like, I'm going to fuck him up. It'd be funny. No, no, it's it's okay, yeah. I'm going to challenge so, him to so a street fight. Clip of that. I'm going to really fuck him up. Yeah. No, uh, no, so, okay, actually, I'm curious. Though. Does anyone know who Ben Davis is? That's Ben Davis, right? I have to assume that's Ben so, Davis. So, Unless there's a cancellation. The of, like, not like a meme knockout, but just like is meme the by the community? No, no, the meme knockout. Like, oh, okay. I was trying to give you an out. You know that meme where like they, when he knocks him out and then they fall and then that, dun, 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 like Ben Davis. And the meme kind of goes into space and shit. I just think that shit's funny. You, and you, cause you want to like, f cause Jake does that to the other guys. Exactly. And so I want to see but, Jake. But, is it, but wouldn't you be cheering for Jake? Cause Jake's okay, more I, fun. I think I have ESPN yeah, like, plus like him doing to Ben Asker oh. and Woodley. Like that hurt my feelings. Cause I, you have to yeah, buy ESPN. Like, I can't just was, watch oh this. Oh my God. Yeah. Jake's YouTube doing was it. Like, holy shit. Well, 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 we talked about this. Jake's now a fighter. Correct. So it's like, but his background, he's still, a body yeah, he, like, dredged like up Bisman from the river Bisman's after hilarious. three weeks. Like, Bis him and Bisman are going oh. out in DMs. Bradley Bisman's sucks. Like, right, okay, Disney good boy. observation. Oh, right. look, he's got he's the thick boy the um, oh, whiskey the glass, glass dude. Sick. Those are on sale on the like, website. He's, he's yeah. Ever heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> then we'll find yeah. out if you, if we, then we'll find out if you. So if I pay a hundred dollars, I can get ESPN for a year. I think so. ESPN Plus, but I guess I mean that doesn't sound crazy. But. And then every fight after that costs seventy nine bucks. So basically, it costs a hundred and twenty three dollars. Okay, to watch the fight. Fuck it, fuck it. Join the Patreon, dude. Oh, what do I got to do now? <laughs> oh my god! Use your remote to sign in and create an account. Use another device to scan the QR oh, here, code. Do you want to try to sign in? Let me. Because uh, I might have uh, ESPN Plus. Well, mods can delete. I can post a link, but I don't know about that. Yeah, no, we're not going to watch an illegal link. You talk to him. I'll do it on my phone. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to watch some Brendan Shaw. Making baby. $40 million and yeah. you're selling the place mm -hmm. out and winning fights. When If he, he lost his last one, he loses this one. Let's say he gets murked in this one. <coughs> I think we'll find out if he actually truly loved fighting or if he was just doing it for Do you know where the did. origins of murked comes from? No, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> murked? <laughs> But I say it. I'm not trying to act like I don't say it. Invalid code. D. What? Oh, I did do oh, it. Oh, don't say it out loud. Dude. Sorry. What are you doing, B? Here's yeah. my, if, if he loses again and then like that's it, he hangs it's it up. Tough. It, 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 well, it's tough because it puts everything else he's done in a different light. Because then it's like, oh, well, you really weren't about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're going to hang it up now, that's why I don't so think I guess you really up. weren't about that's, it. Well, that's yeah. why we're going to find out if he loves right. it. And, and I also up. think that because the Connor hip hop, I think. Like those Wait, guys, make sure you don't yeah. purchase yeah. the fight on your phone because you won't be able to watch it on more than one device. Bro, that is the most insane. Well, fights right there. I mean, it's on Fire TV. It's one of those using my phone. Use your phone to activate it. Yeah, it looks like that email is. This is like, dude. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs>
I, I'm going to get my other freaking. Uh, no, I'll do it on the You phone. have Brendan Schaub just roaming in the back of your ears while you're trying to buy a fight. I thought I was going to, yeah, I thought I was going to do a San Jose Jack Johnson <laughs> thing. And now, I'm, of course, I have an ESPN account. I mean, I'm, how could I not, right? How could I not? All right. Daniel so. Jimenez would be great on five pin and B. Oh, we should probably try to get him, dude. I need help blogging him. Thought Jesus. Great idea. His name is Thought Jesus. That hoe over there, you know, Jesus. <laughs> read the chat. I got to read the chat, bro. They're I got to read the chat. Sexy, though, bro. Here we go. <laughs> oh, he's trying to read the chat. I'm a chess grandmaster, dude. You're, you're probably <laughs> gonna, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> you're probably going to get a lot of MMA fans on there who Man. aren't going to favor like, you. But bro. if your fans are on there, then we're like, you, have you ever seen Uh oh, I just did pounds? it. Oh, oh shit. shit. Are we about. <laughs> we yeah, fine. The, yeah. I'm going to cancel this thing soon, though. How would you like to confirm your purchase? Use my phone. Why do I have to confirm the purchase? Can't you? It's tough because any I like updates guys, from a BGL huge part two? Yeah, no, he's from my hometown, but even before that, I didn't know he's from Aurora. Now I, mean, I like how people ask us like we're like, oh, coming up next week, we got an update on BGL. Uh-huh. They're like, hey, what happened to that update you guys are talking about? Did we say we had an update? No, but that, I don't know. People just ask us questions like that. It's like makes me feel like we said something. I mean, I've never even met him. No, nah, it's, it's a great guy. I never met him. <laughs> Questionable guy. I never met him. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger fan, but he was my dark horse. To uh, no, Bradley Martin versus Mark it's Harley. Who do yeah, you yeah, think wow. wins? I, he had a good run, man. Well, I mean, we've only seen really one of them do any kind of fighting, really, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, when it comes to lifting cars, we know who's going to win. You know what I mean? R.I.P. Joe Rogan. Okay. Dude, have you ever fallen for those R.I.P. Joe Rogans? No, I don't think that's funny. I don't understand the joke. Yeah, it's uh, it's. Oh, I mean, I'm not talking smack to Joe. I'm in like those Twitter things, like that you're saying. Well, I like, think he's saying R.I.P. Joe Rogan because he made some of the horrible mistakes with his comedian choices. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On this week's uh, Timos, you claim that he's the Oppenheimer of our generation. Yeah. Spoiler alert, McGee over here. I did say <laughs> that he's the Oppenheimer for comedy. Shout outs to you guys for covering the Fike Pan and Fike Pan. Oh, so I buy it now for, tw- I see, like you said. Yeah. Okay. It's roughly 120. Oh, oh, my, God, oh my God, dude. God, again, dude? This is, uh... Oh, really, dude? This is why they don't start the fights right away. They're like, we know people are going to take 45 minutes to buy the fight. I can't imagine Shaw being able to handle something like this. Kiss, kiss up to Bapa like Jesse on fire, and you too can be invited on Calabasas Fight Companion. <laughs> I mean, this is like our audition, really. We're going to try our best to do a fight companion. Um, it's the thick boy. It's the thick boy, boy. I got that stuck in my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, was wait was was that guy? What's on fire? Jesse on fire? Was he on Rogan? Or no, he's on the Calabas fight companion. He's saying. Yeah, no, he did. Was he on the fight companion? Probably, but I he, know he won. He won MMA. Yeah. Uh, thick boy guy of the year, commentator of the year. You talking? I'm on the destroyer. <laughs> of, I am destroyer. Of That's comedy. exactly what we're talking. <laughs> oh shit. All right, I'm going to oh, yeah. turn that yeah, down. Yeah, you got to turn it down. Because we don't really need to hear Bruce Buffer. Although, what was Andrew Schultz about to do comedy or something? <laughs> In the red corner. Tangible. A guy okay, doing black voice, Andrew movie. Schultz. They, they took it off the All right, card. So the main card. So we had the time, the, the yeah. times here. Like this, so whenever, uh, here. So whenever uh, that five guy, starts. Uh, Pierre, Michelle Pierre. Michelle Pierre. Oh, shit. Who's Michelle Pierre? Michael Chiesa is fighting. So I don't know. Most he's a good guy. Like One of our guys. Great guy. He's, he got the glass in his eye when uh, Connor well, broke that like window. But also, he did that against oh, Darren Till. Oh, snap. Before, where Till missed weight, and Wonder Boy was like, I'm a gangster. We're going to have this very low, so lost, we'll catch things it. that we need to catch. These dudes, like, so are have I'm not sure taken a breath. <laughs> they are on it. They are addied up and modeloed out. He's going to have to work his way back up at 40. I'm with him. It's like, was he ranked? Six, Quick talkers. Seven, 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 yeah. Seven, but you know they're having fun, dude. That's why. They're with their friends. You know what I mean? There's some good hair going on in here, though. We got this guy's hair, and then we got Polly Walnut's shop over here. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Some gray streaks on the side. Yeah. Blow, blow that back, Ben. Same thing with weightlifting, where it's like you slow. We watch them with their hair instead of the fight. Yeah. All right. We're, we're synced up with them, dude. Like, is he just. Because every time I see, like, he's into... So, I think, uh, you know, I have no idea who either of these guys are. Holland or... Wait, I think I maybe I've heard of Holland before. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. What's Holland's Kevin first Holland. name? Kevin Holland. No, I did. I have heard of Kevin Holland. He's unranked now, though. Is he going down a weight class or up a weight class? Didn't he just, he like recently, he took a fight with short notice against somebody and they beat him? Yeah. Like that guy that's really good. Yeah, he got lit Comes up. out or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know. This fight's nuts. Uh, main event, Kratom versus Addies. <laughs> <laughs> that's what me and uh, Gerardo are going to do later. Yeah, dude. Psych. Psych. Neither one. Holland? Well, I think yeah. we said 300 patrons is the, the Kratom. Really? Yeah. We, I think it should be more than that. <laughs> 500 and we'll both do Kratom. You've definitely picked a good card to buy. Tonight is awesome. See, Bobby Digital gets it. He gets it. Do you mind if I take a phone call real quick? You go ahead, B. I'll, I'll be right talk back. to the people. Let me know if the pizza's here. I'll go get it. I love that. I love that. I'll be right back, guys. You heard that I'm a beast of a podcast critic. Hey, listen, your words, but thank you. Oh, did you just pause? Oh, no, never mind. What do we think, guys? What do we think about the the um, turtleneck on the fight companion? Oh, he just said turtleneck, too. Maybe it's from my childhood. I see turtleneck. I think you're loaded. Yeah, <laughs> that's Bapa's opinion. Whatever, yeah. If they see a, a turtleneck, they're you're rich. The hair and the turtleneck. I'm like, this guy has dude. I'm fucking, I'm wearing this guy right went to Uniqlo today, <laughs> bought a turtleneck. Uh, now he's rich. We should have bought those. Did we buy those? He brought his own Modelo. Oh, we bought them. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Holy shit! Straight up, straight up. He brought like a six pack. Did you just take one turtleneck off and have another one underneath? What's that? Wait, yeah. two I don't know who the guy in the turtleneck is. We're thinking it's Ben Davis, uh, but I don't know who Ben Davis is. If anybody knows who Ben Davis is, let us know. I have been sitting all day with two turtlenecks on. How did I not notice that? <laughs> just because you sweat one out, you didn't want to pack. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, I'll wear them all. <laughs> yeah, not sure. I don't know. I mean, unique. Uh, he lo- he definitely loves to talk about that, but he's got kind of an annoying voice. You know. Brad versus turtleneck. I just love the comment. So I love the comment. If you were if you guys were gonna go to the fight companion, if let's say you get the call of your life and you're invited to the Calabasas fight companion, what beers are you bringing with you? Because this guy apparently brought Modelo. What'd you win like four hundo? I won like three bucks. Ain't about the size. It's about the win. There's no way he's the nicotine rep. Is that real? Realize like his whole thing's grappling. That you know, yeah. you, getting submitted by Vicente Luque. Now Kevin Holland's probably like fucking on the house. Ben well, Davis is a mystery that. man. He, he, he does. Oh, that's a good one. Thought geez. Yeah, four loco. Maybe the OG four loco or the new uh, soft four loco. I do like Modelo. I don't think it's a bad choice. <laughs> Going hard with Bud Light. Bud Light's different. They're arguing about something. I missed it. Do I totally? Th- I uh, stopped paying attention. I bought this fight. And I didn't even. Yeah. Dang, Holland just gets. Did Holland lose? Oh, he has body language like he lost. Gonna have to break down your fights coming up. So be cool, man. <laughs> Guess what you should be like, I don't think this guy stands a chance. He's actually, he's it would be funny to bring Bud Light and then just rip on Brandon for his terrible Bud Light joke. You're kind of so, like a trolling him a little bit if you bring Bud Light. Hamza's at 85 now. That's what, do you, what do you think of Hamzat and... Wait. Oh, they're replaying it. So who... Eight and a half pounds overweight. Oh, did Holland win? Kind of like a layup in a pay-per-view main event. Mm. Right? Yeah, maybe not the best opinions of all time. He's a talented animal. You know what I mean? But like... Costa or was that an illegal move? Thing, and he got disqualified. Burns, a puffed up lightweight. As much as I love Burns, he's a... They're not even talking about the fight, or is there... Number two at the time. Is a oh, no, he got choked out. Oh, so Holland did win. Good for him. I don't know. I, I love I that Costa? There you go. Way to rebound, Hamza, Holland. I love that guy. Uh, he, Hamza, More power to you. More power yeah, to you. I think he's like Hamza. <laughs> Does yeah, Bud Light come in eight-inch cans? $5. My answer to that is eight <laughs> inches B. I'm like, don't, don't. Yeah. Ten turtlenecks. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Damn. seven of them. You really think uh, uh, Paulo beats Hamza? I don't I, see it because look at uh, look up and who knows? Maybe Paul. Turn the sound up there. Too silent. You're too loud. With Luke Rockhold. Well, I when Gerardo gets back, we may handle that. I have no idea. Well, let's see. See, I think Hamzat's fight against. Oh, jeez, I just paused it. Gilbert Burns was a weird fight because he was so arrogant, so cocky, sat on the cage. Now it's a little louder. How's that? Dude, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, no, it's he still won though. That's the thing against the number two welterweight in the world. But I think he, we saw cracks. 
Because up until like Gilbert Burns fight, I'm gonna yeah, let them say a few things and then I'll Rises. say my take on what they're, what's going on. Do you know what I'm saying? And Gilbert, dumb, Burns, yeah. Gilbert Burns, are like, listen, you're not. You know what I mean? You're a as long as we don't get gadouched. I don't want to get gadouched. He's also really funny. Because we're trying to add to this. Yes, yeah, not Ross just watch. He used to be Derek yeah. Lewis, but his account got taken down. Really? Yeah. Talking too much shit, probably. No, you know what it was? It would post like street fights or like people get. What are we doing here, Bapa? Yeah, Dog. But no, Lewis, right on my alley. Yeah, he, he, like, yeah, he would say, oh, people, he's okay. These, like, yeah, these yeah, yeah. Okay, then, fight like, companions, they're not really talking about the fights. They don't let any of them talk. And they all, well, Bradley Martin just has merch all over the, he's, like, plugging something on his shirt, but it's blocked by the microphone. No, dude, Twitter actually just released monetization. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the ad sharing type bullshit. Shout out Elon Musk, man. I just love that. Yeah. Didn't they change it today? It's X. Like, everything's to the X. Yeah, it's X now. What is, so what, is it, what is it called when you tweet? You guys should be watching this on your own so you can hear me <laughs> talk about them, not to tell you what to do. But that's my that's my redacted take. I think it's probably better if you're watching this and also listening to me. Also, support support the great fight companion, you know? Shab apparently is not selling tickets now and is, is going through it, so we got we to gotta start buying merch. Going yeah. to shows, <laughs> retweeting him. <laughs> Twenty years later, like, good yeah. luck. This would be like the worst <laughs> blunt rotation ever. You're right, cool. thought Jesus. He's brilliant. <laughs> no, he's a he's an interesting. KG, guy. let us know if Kevin Holland says anything of note, bud. <laughs> yeah, this headline says Twitter starts paying, but only. <laughs> 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 Polly Shore was there and he saw the guy in the turtleneck and he's like, "I'm out of here." Weasel left the building. That it is funny because like the people on Twitter that would just shit post their way to get engagement and impressions, they're getting paid for it now, yeah. <laughs> which oh, I think is bro. so stupid. Dude. I, love I heard tonight is a very good card, what was the and I don't know a lot about UFC, but I do know Holland. I've, I've heard the name before. And this is is this one of the earlier fights? He's not even ranked. This could be a good fight night. Well, they, he did it because he thought like you know all the like woke liberal people like yeah we are free. Uh oh, I just heard him say all the woke liberal people. So you know he's about to make a Nick Flicks point about politics. And then did you see the all the stuff you give? Obviously I'm on Instagram anyway, so like fuck, I can't even knock yeah. Zuckerberg, but Shocker, they're talking about Instagram. That was a big surprise. That was the thing everyone was like, nah, I'm good. God, this and then, and then, and free. Mason yeah, Mason Barber's Barber's a animal. beast. She should get the next title shot. I wonder if Vegan was shot Evans I, you know with the dreads. Every time you know if I met Bapa in person, what would I say or ask him, says Jeff? No, I to be totally honest with you, I think I would probably do some shabisms. Like, I wouldn't try and be a dick or anything, but if he came up and talked to me, I'd be like, what are we doing here? And then I would just try and be friendly, but also throw in shabisms. I don't give too much away, but it was an issue. Be Brittany Griner. Be Griner. Do you have a mirror so you can see the fights? No, we're not going to do anything illegal, Bapa. But that's hilarious. Now you're scaring people dude, away, dude. Don't tell them I'm coming. Just why, why I just get inv- uh, invite like heavyweights? For science, says over under talk about money in the next ten minutes. Talking about money. Talking about money. B. Uh, these are numbers, guys. All of them. They love to talk funds and business. You know, because they're business minded. They've always been business guys. I would say it's about. 70% chance they bring up how much money they're getting on something. Red's thing too, they're like, look how many users we have. I'm like, well, yeah, because yeah, it's just the, whoever follows you on Instagram, it goes over there. Yeah, yeah. It's such a they're just talking about Instagram. I'm not mad What's up, Joel Melvin? I see you. Great guys never met him. Yeah. I, I, sided, I sided more with the twins. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Got a couple yeah. redacks trying to work yeah. my yeah. system, dude. There's probably oh, pizza yeah. outside. Oh, yeah, I mean it's on the blue car, the blue car right there. Or just something, or just something, or just something different though too. Like different. Turn it up a little bit again just to hear it. You know, so but it, like the reason TikTok works because it's different. <laughs> turn it down again because I don't give a sh. He's just like I turn it up and he's like, you know how TikTok works. <laughs> No, you don't. You have to look at the history, though, of Instagram. It was like, is it Mexican pizza? It. No, dude, we're not putting any salsa on this pizza, Bobby. But 
You went on. You didn't start on Vine or some shit. No, I started on Instagram. You might want to close that though. Never on. Yeah. Vine. I think I was on yeah. Vine for a minute. And go, maybe hold on. You talk to him for a while. I'll close it because I'll go get plates. Well, seven seconds. You can't do much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll you take like over. <laughs> I could have. There was content I made in a few. Come on in here. That I could have done, but I just. Yeah, you take over for a minute. But Gerardo, what's cracking? In? Yeah. How are we doing? So Any good comments yet? I was like Snapchat. Yeah. Was the only thing what do you think of yeah, Brandong's like, bowling shirt? I love it, dude. I love everything about Brandon Chop. You can quote me on that, B. Pizza has salsa normally. Oh, be cool, dude. Snapchat. Giving away the most money. Snapchat. You don't have a show Let me see here. Oh my gosh. You have a show on Snapchat. We uh we didn't really prepare for this, so it's kind of like a last minute throw together. If it works yeah, like Reddit, Bapa Snapchat. knows <laughs> the people <laughs> that know the people. I was going to go with this, like, I was going to, oh, man. Did I you fucking just write regular people? Okay, let's see what they say. <laughs> I was going to go get, like, you find out you're just a horrible person. I was going to be like, dude, I went out of Target, man. They give me a wrong look. I fucked them up, bro. I was going to go get mats and just challenge people. Does Bradley ever not wear a hat? Right now, 100 bucks. That would be pretty good. Like a college it's so hard to try to yeah, keep man. along with them. Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> How was the fight? To out, did I, he lose? Do do Holland? Like no, UFC Holland gloves. Gloves. Oh, Chizia lose. No gloves. Lost. Bare knuckle. Bare knuckle yeah. Chizia. With no punching. Oh. No punching? He got gadouched or what? So just yeah. I think he got choked so out. Dude, I love Tony Ferguson. I, know, I mean, not for his off-the-court antics, but... Now if we get math and you have just your Any live music tonight? Um, You know, if you stick around long enough, you might play a tune or two, B. But anyways, yeah, like we did a Doors cover today, dude. What's up for science? How's it going, sir? I'm so glad to be here with you. Yeah, guys, watch the fight. We want to encourage everyone to buy the fight and watch it, dude. Oh, they're talking social media, dude. So much to creators. I'll tell you off air who I talked to about it. And like He's a baldy builder. When he told me how much little work it requires in the shows on there, and there's also no suppression, like yes. on, on suppression. YouTube. But you know, it's like there is shadow like, ban. You can't do certain explicit stuff. Damn, like I didn't close the door. So redacted. Well, Matt, I'll close it. You can't bang dudes on there. Yeah. Wow. You can't bang dudes. I was on board. Yes, I was. Oh, Brendan's awesome, dude. <laughs> you want pizza? <laughs> sure. Like yeah, that's crazy. So I know I do. Is it, is it so but OnlyFans is kind of... We got like Pizza Hut. Eight, eight, eight inch, 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 yeah, eight inch pizza. There's like a lot of UFC... Eight, eight inch times two minus some, some stuff. Like, wait, they're sucking dick on there? Like, no, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, my I'm God, sure what's like, he saying? Oh. Oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I do that. Well, OnlyFans originally started, it was actually... This is like what a Chang chef would have a, like, a... God damn it. it Thank you. And then, it and then the owner like, was like, we need to make money. Someone was like, let's yeah, suck yeah. dick on this <laughs> platform. Yeah. How about you dig do boy it? pizza? Yeah. For dig porno, boy. I don't know how it got for there. porno stars, yeah. they don't need like. Yeah, we're in San Jose right now. Yeah. We're sitting next to Jack Johnson. No, they can just do it and they it's own it all. They, own it. they don't have to give a cut to anybody. No, they make you can do it out of your I mean, you Do you remember the origins of San Jose, Jack Johnson? No, I just remember when we were watching with Walsh. It was like, I think. He said something like that. So maybe I do, actually. I don't know why I just immediately said no. It's from the Magic Johnson AIDS joke. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He says it all fast. Same as a Jack Johnson. I wish this was stuff, Cross B, but... No, nah. well, OnlyFans. It is interesting how they're trying to branch out. It's never going to work. Like you can't separate. I feel like you can't separate OnlyFans from the adult. Yeah, once you go they down, down that so far, platform. they went exactly. so far. They tried to at one point. I remember they were like, "We're gonna like not let this happen as much," and like their shit tanked. Everyone's like, Fuck "No, remember." You. I, 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 my money like, has to be on Tony uh, Ferguson, dude. You know why? Because the banks. Because the banks. Uh, like, he's lost like, like his last six fights. I think. Banks. I'm yeah, always going to go for Tony Ferguson. More funding, oh, yeah. More capital. He's a good guy. And the he's not a good guy, but he's a great fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about him. Yeah, yeah. U.S. Bank was like, nah, dog. <laughs> We're There's also some girl take three dicks. We're not meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile the, the pizza is definitely yeah, Netflix. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Content. Or, I mean, yeah, I can't speak for you. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. But <laughs> well, that's what happened. And then they just tanked. And then, like, our bat porno stars come back. It's kind of fucked up. They keep making Tony Ferguson fight young people. Oh, yeah. Taking out the middleman. He's like, the, what is it? What are they saying? They boxing, they something can, some like can fighters that get beat up. What is it? Tomato can or something like that. Tomato can. What? Tomato. Tomato. Isn't that what they say? I don't know. I'm not a boxer, so. Everybody should soup can. That's probably right. Thank you, Josh. Zion Terrones. Who's that? Michael says tomato can. What's, What's that? Soup can, soup can. I don't know if we're ever going to get the answer to you. It's probably both. Both. It's both. I've Down heard both ways. Dude, that's a great idea, actually. Thought Jesus. What? 
Um, oh, down just, with the thickness? <laughs> down with the sickness? <laughs> come on, come on, get down with Shab the thickness. Shab was just talking about porn. Mm-hmm. Okay. You were that troll back in Columbia? I was trying to troll you. Right? Yeah, I know. I was, I'm going to keep you on. Bad, keep straight there. <laughs> you, you they're going to keep getting. They're going to light, light this guy up mm-hmm. for wearing a turtleneck. Do you do mock turtlenecks or only the long? So uh, job it's, it's, been, <laughs> it's, mock tur- oh, it's been a push mock me. turtlenecks. If somebody, it's like a mid turtle. It's like you're not full turtle. Oh, okay. Nah, man, I got oh, a full yeah. turtle. Come on. Yeah, I got a full I turtle. Dude, he's full going for jobs. mock. Straight up, man. Give me the, the glasses. Yo, wait. That's his means <laughs> mock turtleneck. I was like, he's the most funniest guy to ever wear a turtleneck. Throw some glasses on that guy. It's Ben Davis and Steve Jobs. I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> somebody did say like a sleeveless turtleneck would be pretty funny, That'd especially like in Florida because I've, I've done a lot of shit in Florida. Myself. It's too hot. Dude, a dry fit yeah. turtleneck that go hard. Dude, I'm not dry fit. Own, you could do your own merch. We talking Nike, bro? Nah, talking about not, Nike, dude? I'm not Nike dry fit. Yeah. We're gonna get. We'll this, save bro. that. We're gonna, years. The, we'll get there. You're maybe, gonna call me in four years. I'm like, dude. A mock neck is like Jeff. A mock neck means like um. Off the shelf. I just bought a Ferrari from. Not the full turtleneck. Like turtlenecks are big. They go all the way up here, kind of. Oh, Mock yeah. neck is like half that, I think. Of Tony Ferguson's career I'm not a fashion guy, though. Yeah, you should. <laughs> no. so. you should. You should. Not yeah, always been a eight inches. Uh, did you see Steve, his, uh, pr- Steve Jobs. Uh, conference? <laughs> he's like, I'm going to get five fights in the title. We're going to eat Evry Slice. I, oh, yeah. I, I love Tony. I love Tony. He's, Steve Jobs. He is one of the they can't talk MMA live division. because they in don't my, have to steal well, other people's stakes. Why are you guys counting him out right now? Oh, time because to he's on a four-fight losing streak. He's been finished in his he's last He's 75 two. in fight years. Like, yeah. He's, he's yeah. 75 years old. And he just... He hasn't looked great, you know? And Although Bobby he Green. didn't look terrible. Sorry to interrupt you. He no, didn't look good. terrible <laughs> against Chandler <laughs> until he got caught with that Spartan kick. But before he, he didn't First look Watching this okay. makes yeah, me feel like Luke right. Thomas. I think the fight just, yeah. you got to realize, Bradley, he, he, he won. Bro, I've never been so stimulated. Khabib. We're watching Brendan Chobb talk hurt, about digs and Snapchat. Just, then he we got Tony Ferguson undressing himself over here. Pizza's in my mouth. My big dick's right there. Sorry about that. I'm trying to imagine being in that position. There's a point at one time when he was the baddest 155. <laughs> Can you not put all caps? Because like it makes he me want to yell that, and I don't want that to be online. Me yelling that. <laughs> I fucking um, while watching yeah. President yeah. Trump, Boba got, Fett said that. Not, not even one time, not even twice, but like four, four right? times, yeah, four, four or five times, where he was supposed to fight Khabib. He has a win over RDA when RDA was like, in my opinion, Boba Fett, the bounty hunters, wants to know who the gay guy is. Can somebody in chat please do me a favor? We all know that what is king? Audio. Audio is king. Please don't talk with me. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's live. I did that on purpose. But um, can somebody please close their eyes? Enter Thick Man. Great idea, too, Dean Bob. Uh, can somebody please close their eyes, listen to our audio, and tell us if the levels are all good? Because I didn't really have time to, like, check it. Also, let's get some cry emojis for Tony Ferguson in the chat, dude. He's had a rough go of it. And I'm going for him every time he fights, dude. Every fucking time he fights. Bobby... He's saying it's an awful fight for Ferguson because Bobby's explosive. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like a good MMA take to me. Not knowing anything, obviously I'm a dummy. But, like, of course he's explosive, right? Yeah. He's a uh, UFC guy that's in the in a, one of the big fights. Oh, they're both old as fuck. 36, 39. Oh, yeah. So nice. 36 is the young guy here. Tony Ferguson better not get knocked out, dude. I can't watch this fool go through it again, dude. Could you do a few minutes as Bill Burr? Okay. Let's see. He does a good Bill Burr. I mean, don't put me on the spot like that. He did that. I didn't do that. He did. No, it's, uh, watching this uh, fight companion. San Jose Jack Johnson. It's, uh, this guy, freaking guy is in the turtleneck over here. Like, what, what does he think he's fucking? Steve Jobs? You know? I mean, it's like... <laughs> I'm watching my computer, and the guy's in the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry. Yours is more like Pesci or something. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think um, whoever wins this fight, Brennan Chobb loses because he's a freaking idiot. <laughs> you know? Stupid. <laughs> um, was that good? Well, thank you, Boba Fett. Thank you, Jam Boy. Can you do me a favor? What is something that, what's a Bill Burr bit? Or no, what's your favor? He's speaking right now, right? Right. So talk for him. As Bill Burr? <laughs> Not as yeah, what are we doing here, <laughs> Papa? <laughs> you know, and I was like, every facet. People think that um, that Tony Ferguson is going to win this fight. That some of the some people, <laughs> but uh, I I beg to differ. Unbeknownst <laughs> to me, oh, that was perfect. If you would have said that, Bobby Green, he, he, he's he's explosive. He's different. <laughs> different. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. I, yeah, I put the volume, volume off. Yeah. My career Turn up the companion a little. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, I'll say this. There's a great quote. You know, come for the Webber. Tweety, stay for the companion, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, li- and he was like, hey, I like that they're telling us, the, um, but yeah, alone in alone in Vegas pod, his companion is muted as if we didn't know. You know? Oh, here we go. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? And it was at a 12 year old. Oh, man. Not looking good for Ferguson already. I'm gonna try to. So that combination was dear no, friend. I do have to apologize to the community because as soon as you, I you should apologize. Actually, I didn't. It didn't come to Bradley. Right away. And then afterwards, I went and looked at. I don't know where you're apologizing. Brendan Bird, new character so. unlocked. That's like me uh, missing those like skits and bits. World, not that skits and bits. Oh, Tony Ferguson, yeah, dude. I'm or sorry. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You'd be like, what? Hey, no, Green is just firing on all cylinders. Arnold was a governor, bro. On all cinders. Not Arnold. Oh shit. Arnold when he was winning Mr. Arnold. You'd be like, what? They're talking about Schwarzenegger, dude. Mighty Mouse. I'm like, oh shit. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear Shab try and do Arnold's name. I'm telling you, I set it up. You're, yeah. I touch you, and he's a good. Like he's not gonna come. Suck my dick for five minutes in like the belly room. room. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the nineties. Back in the nineties. Street fight. Yeah. I was lifting weights. Although, not too sixty. You know, oh, they uh, saying Tony's looking slow, but Tony like then he just jumped on him a little bit. Yeah. Ah, he lost it. But he's got no like. Uh, he's got no fucking fight anymore. He just tries to go to the ground, but he gets knocked out in the process. Yeah. Right now. He looked good for a second. I'm sorry, yeah. about Demetrius Johnson's 200. You're like, what? Yeah, oh, he got hit. No, his brother's new. DJ's, uh, Come on. Mm. Also, mm. too, by the way, if you guys are watching the fights, our, our clock is at the same time as theirs. What about 10% body fat? I actually don't know. What are they talking about? Again, that's always the case. No. Imagine, they haven't even said Tony Ferguson once. Imagine one of your friends telling you, like, oh, dude, it's really cool. They watch the fight, and they talk about the fight. And then you come here, and they're like, Snapchat used to just so dicks and gay gays. Bro, what? It's his life. Do you think it's, what the fuck? They ain't even talking about the UFC. Why would they call it a companion? Yeah, this is, like, TikTok companion. Yeah. They should start calling us Instagram companion. They got a random dude and a... Tony's kind of putting the work in. And a turtle neck. Oh, here we go. They're talking now. He's, he's looking he's good. Kind of putting the work in. There we go. Here's some, Bobby, here's but it's some hard stuff. not to root for Tony, man. Yeah. He's an OG, dude. Yeah, see, I'm like Brendan Schaub, dude. I'm going to vote for he's Tony. Right. No what. You know that Schaub is going to do some commentary when he gets oh, the fingers yeah. close to the mouth? Yeah. Like, I'm inside the mouth. That's when you know you're getting some, dude, some Netflix like, commentary. Oh, oh, here we go, Tony. We spoke too soon. Come on, Tony. Look, Tony's I like, I beg the differ. I just, Shut up. They're both good dudes. For Tony, man. They're both good dudes, but it's hard to really Tony, Dude, come on. He, he grew up uh-huh. wild. Like, it's all about wild. threads now, B, like, says Mountain. Played, uh, oh, shit. shit. Oh, oh I poke? Not the finger bullshit. Bobby goes, Bobby goes, you, I don't know if we edited out that. Episode. Coco Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby was like, Shout out to Coco Briscoe. So, I'm just like a panda. <laughs> no chance Coco Briscoe's watching, or maybe she is watching this, studying moves for her next street fight. Oh, yeah, that's an eye poke bar fight. Yeah. How many times do you think Coco Briscoe's got in the bar fight? Too many, B. I can't count that high. She doesn't recall any of them, though. She's wasted I think said eight. No. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, there's no yeah. way. I'm How much was the pizza? I, we edited out the episode because oh, I think the sex fucking... part is get it. That's yeah, amazing. That's the get it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I didn't grow up like Different that. Different time, man. Yeah. Different time. Come on, Tony. You're playing hot and get it? I'm like, I've never heard of that. <laughs> he's he's a, just a character, man. Brandon Cooney, too, right? This is not mm. a good Really good, dude. Not that any eye poke is great. You know, no eye poke Some is like, oh, excellent. Is that an Italian evil Knievel shirt? Where stupid on Bapa's. All right, don't that's do a, that again. That's you what Jam Boy said. He has one eye that is now, kind of a good. That is that kind of again. what it would be like. You do it again. Like, Evil right, Knievel dude, wore that David like Warren, crazy more, American flag like, yeah. get up or whatever. It's a bad eye shot or bad nut shot or bad. All right, just fence money. grab. Oh, fence grab. Just so, like a dick Any, hit. Yeah. How many points is that? Vin Diesel on the fight so campaign would be hilarious. Be a, a, that might be a fight. Dude, oh, dude. I'm take 30 points. He's like, I heard you, I heard you were uh, calling me gay, points. Brandon. Yeah, Vin points, Diesel would not go with all the gay win. jokes, though. Like, I don't think. Yeah, I think Brandon would be like, dude, uh, call right? everyone gay. <laughs> dude, there's compilations of me calling people gay, dude. He's like, find someone I haven't called gay. It looks like a children's costume. There's no way he can button up that shirt. He's the best one What's an Italian shirt? A shirt with spaghetti sauce on it. Dude, Chase Leopard is lighting up my comments with uh, boner alerts. Dude. Yeah, this is a good call, Chase. 
Oh shit, here we go. It's a violence dog. Ooh, fuck. Shit. You just got kicked in the face. I know, dude. I know, dude. Oh shit. Man, he keeps finding his chin. I feel like Tony's going to win for sure, dude. What year? Uh again, it was like 2017-2018. Come on, Tony. I will always root for, root for Tony, dude. Was this a comeback fight? I used to root against Tony. Can you believe that? Oh, yeah? Yeah. But, I mean, like, maybe one or tw- once or twice. But he was on that win streak because that's why I wanted him to lose. Mm-hmm. Now he's on the losing streak. This this would be like yeah. if um, Tony came out with, I think he should be surprised, but then this is his gringo poppy. <laughs> his comeback. It's hard to believe that it's going to actually come to fruition. It's hard because all the posts like him partying. I think the turtleneck guy is drunk. like... Doing well, there's like five empty like, beers in front of him, dude. Yeah, but some of those are Dr. Pepper, B. <laughs> you, see, you know, Bradley's not drinking. Oh, has he got a Truly? There's so many rains in front of him. None of these drinks are open, though. Are you sure they're open? I think they're just kind of, you know, marketing geniuses, B, and they're just letting, making you think they're drinking them. Yeah, they have their phone on loud so they can hear Modelo if they call. <laughs> Bradley. But you know who is drinking. Round. Shab. Shab oh, yeah. drinks. Schwab. And did you watch Ultimate Fighter? I, do, I, was about to, I, was I want the turtleneck guy to start acting like Rampage Jackson. <laughs> He's like, what's up, Schwab? Schwab. What kind of name is that, Schwab? Schwab. <laughs> Tiger <laughs> Thick. That's a stupid name. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but it's that guy doing it. <laughs> I like that. Because, again, like you were saying, the theme is veterans versus There's Austrians in Scotland, B. Oh, my God. Tony Ferguson, no. No, make it the round. Make it the round, dude. <laughs> It is getting dicey. I feel like I'm there. Bradley, you're right. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, when you do fuck. when you do the Shab show, you just know that you can drop. It's like you're like, oh, nice. Today I get to use dicey a lot. Yeah. No one will judge me. I get to just say dicey constantly. Scotland, the country of the state. So, Tyler Ghost, you actually you think it's a good whiskey? You like it? You've had you've uh, you're one of the a thousand that's tried Tiger Thick. I think he's quoting Joe Rogan. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Great whiskey, hate the name. I forgot, went over my head. And is the turtleneck guy Matt Rife? Like Could be. Dude, Never met him. Us, nah. He was a male nurse. He Matt Rife is shot. wearing that Diet Starts Monday yeah. shirt. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he, uh, there was a clip recently that popped up on my Instagram because I follow him like yeah. every step of the way. Like, I want to be there for the journey and also like the redemption arc. I want to see all of it. And so I saw the Diet Starts Monday. I'm like, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, you're going to start the subreddit? No, 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 no. no. Don't even be like that. It's going it, to be a positive subreddit. It's in, it's interesting, interesting that this company, Diet Starts Monday, is trying to get comedians to wear all their merch. What a strange strategy. Yeah. It's going to be like Jim Gaffigan wearing a Diet Starts Monday hoodie. <laughs> Talking about Hot Pockets. Talking about, yeah. Oh, I can't do Gaffigan at all. Hot Pocket. Hot Pocket. That's like saying I'm Scottish, but I'm from London, B. What is? I don't know. Yeah. Dean Bob. Scotland, the country of the state. Hey, be cool, Dean Bob. Yeah, dude, come on. We're not <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Okay, here. Oh, shit. Green's trying to. Okay, come on, Tony. Us watching this is just guys being dudes, you know. Pizza, yeah. UFC. Big dicks right there. Big dicks right here. Sorry about that. Beans and cheese, beans and cheese, beans and cheese. Beans and cheese, beans and cheese. Break on through to my Mexican. I've always been a light ear. Which Let's see here. If anybody is a fan of Raccoon Tweeties too on the stream, please write us an Apple review. Like oh shit! Yeah, no, write some Apple reviews. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Luis Ogloco, <laughs> what's up, dog? <laughs> BGL should be here. <laughs> Tyler, be cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But when you when you like, uh, what's your go to when it's? It's incredible that y'all seem more engaged than the show. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I I again. I'd probably say that anyways is a bit, but we are actually watching this. This is fun to watch. This is a good fight. Yeah. These guys are real. These guys are really going. But I will say Tony Ferguson has lost his step. I'm trying to say stuff that Brendan would say. Bob, Bobby is explosive. That was a yeah. good call. Um, he is just like beating Tony on the ground right now. Yeah. Yes, Zuki slap, bro. They're so fucking you talking favorite. about from BJ's yes, pizza? Man. Yeah. BJ's. <laughs> They're talking <laughs> about Pazookis, dude. <laughs> he just said Pazuki slap. <laughs> I thought I didn't hear that right. It's like, who? Yeah, you're good. Good lay Pato Main. Yeah, it's like, is John Africa on this podcast? Good question. 
Yeah. He's talking about ketchup. Anything with Shab, if Shab wants to perform at the mothership, then he's got to stop talking about BJ's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Pazuki slap. Pazuki slap. <laughs> he's like uh, the endless bread bowl at uh, uh, which one call it? When you're here, your family. <laughs> yeah. Olive Garden. So Can this is a great fight. They're talking about the fucking <laughs> Olive Garden. Can you see the fight? Yeah. Uh, you don't even move the TV at all. No, I okay. can see it. Because they're for whatever reason, my redacted ass put the uh, TV in the not the middle of the room, so I can see it fine. <laughs> Who do you think is winning so far? Uh, Bobby, dude. Yeah. But he also got the knockdown though. Tony got the knockdown in the first. Oh, round. that's right. That's what I'm saying. I you guess you know. Ass. Then yeah. No, I, <laughs> I I'm just uh, I'm in the moment, so I didn't really think about that. Oh. As, yeah, as of right now, Tony's not looking good. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but Bobby kind of looks tired, though, too. Yeah. Tony doesn't really look as gas. He's just on the ground. <laughs> Austin a little different. There's some homeless in the crowd. Tonight. Dude, every time I walk into my apartment, my roommate's kind of homeless, too. So I'll be like, there's some ladies in the crowd tonight. Oh, wait, and there's a get a laugh. And he goes, shoppers. <laughs> There's some pazookies in the crowd tonight. Dude, welcome to the Calabasas Fight Opinion. What's your favorite menu item on BJ's Pizza? Austin's a little different. Oh, yeah, he's got he blood. That, I know you guys were that triangle that he kind of almost close, yeah. was trying to work on, but now it's just. It's yeah, that guy's got four right open now. beers in front of him. I don't know his age, but how old is he? 36, 39. Hey, be cool, J.E. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Bobby Green's 36 and uh, Tony's 39. But it, but in, Tony's I looking like he's fighting with like a whole can of Pringles on his shoulder. Yeah, he's got a lot of chip. Yeah, chip on his shoulder, B. You're right. <laughs> chip after chip. Oh, shit. But also he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, my oh. God. Come on, Tony. Yeah, that one changed him. He's, and he's oh, oh, thank you, Buck Smellanoma. This the Go guy Sam. in the black turtleneck looks like a digitally <laughs> DH Steve Bannon. I assume he's different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dude, Tony starts doing this thing like he's young, like hit me, hit me. But. UFC's you got to no, dude. He's got to just like, I don't think he's going to retire. Cause he strikes me as one of those guys. That shit used to fucking light me up, dude. When Tony would be bloody as fuck and be like, what do you got? <laughs> well, both these guys clearly put in the work at Nick to make this a good oh, fight. Fuck. Come yeah, on, Tony get punched once like this. And I'd be like, I'll never again. Yeah. Have you ever gotten knocked out? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't see it. <laughs> every fight, only every fight. <laughs> ever heard of it? <laughs> I don't have a strong chin. Do you want more pizza or you, or you got some? I'm good. I'll probably eat in three hours from now. I'll eat the pizza when it's perfectly ripe. <laughs> a fight companion for a fight companion. Popperception. That's what, that's what we're going for here, Ryu Kuhn. Ken. Yeah. Christopher Nolan should direct this. Ever heard of him? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, he got him. Oh, shit. Let's go, Tony. Fuck. Never mind. He's just taking him. Tony, Bobby Tony's, fought Drew Dober. He fought Drew Dober. He recently fought Jared Gordon, and that ended because of a, a headbutt. Yeah, so was awkward. This is in um, kind of like Salt Lake, right? I was gonna, I was planning on going to know. this fight. I'm gonna look up Ben Davis online. I'm gonna do my own research. Yeah, I looked him up. He's got a weird uh, Instagram profile. Oh, you already did it. Yeah, look at him. Oh, I know, such a good dude. Right here. I feel bad for Paul. Ben Davis Company. It's just like he sells merch. Oh man, that's lame, dude. Of course they're talking about Instagram and. Porn and yeah, TikTok. They got a merch salesman. This is probably diet. He probably owns Diet Starts Monday. I'm gonna finish this though. I don't even know if this is him though. That's the thing. Oh, I mean, he doesn't have any pictures of himself. No, it's all a shirt company. Um, God damn! I think it's one one right now. So whoever wins this round is gonna win the fight. You know. I told Matt, I'm like, do not get in a brawl with this cat. Usually and Matt was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I mean, you'd think they'd be wearing, like, Ben Davis clothes if that's the real Ben Davis. Who is Ben Davis, dude? Does anybody in the chat know who Ben Davis is or knows their, his ad on Instagram? For grabs, yeah, I'll give you that. Let's go on you, think, you think anyone's getting knocked out? Maybe. I could see somebody getting finished. They're getting a little yeah. wild here, especially Tony. Oh, come on, Tony. Get up, get up. And Bobby, he's still explosive. So it's trouble. Oh, they're talking about the fight. Both guys have power. Yeah, I mean, like each dude is a, a, a missile if they connect. 
But I don't like that, man. No. That's what Gagey's going to be doing. He's going to be focused on the leg kicks, and it's going to open up everything. Talking upstairs. about the main yeah, event, B? Yeah, Gagey yeah. versus Poirier. Yeah. Great fight, though. Ooh, Louisiana Two. by KO. Oh, hey, be Gagey. cool, uh, LPJ27. Yes, How much are you talking, boys? Yo, this is this is like the quickest we've ever set up the fight or our little uh, live. I like this setup, dude. This is chill. This is very easy to do. Yeah, I might be able to hop on my couch. (laughs) Usually, I'm like beans, cheese, beans, cheese, trying to get everything together. But this is pretty easy, dude. Believe it or not, if you know about the hostage room, it's right over there. Just in a little room over there. Because my my heart goes without. But this is a different setup. I've seen this story before, man. Jan Blachowicz and Israel. Hell yeah. Can you guys explain who Tony is? My bad. Tony Ferguson, dude. He was on a 13-fight win streak at one time. Maybe 14. I could be wrong. Jeff, we're watching uh, UFC 291 live. Yeah. So Tony Ferguson is fighting some guy we don't know named Green. <laughs> KM, thanks for the $10. We have to do it, dude. <laughs> we have to do it, dude. F. Mary Kill. Between these three, <laughs> shout out Lizzo. Shout out Lizzo. Yeah, put her back in. Who are the three, though? Oh, oh these three. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> KM, why do you always do this? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to I'm gonna marry, the, I'm gonna marry the guy with the turtleneck because I feel like he'll laugh at my jokes regardless of, of humor, you know? Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna fuck the shit out of Bradley Martin, dude. Yeah. And then I'm, you know, Brendan Chobb's got to go in this situation. So I'm going to... I'm going to fuck the guy in the turtleneck because he's the most effeminate. Yeah. I am going to uh, marry Bradley because um, financially, I think he's probably doing the best of the three. And then um, I'm going to kill Brennan because, I mean, it just I have to kill somebody. And unfortunately, Brennan dies in this one. Yeah. Silence do good. The fella in the turtleneck has a little sugar in the tank. B. Well, there you go. <laughs> he dies. I guess I picked it right then. He's coked out? What does sugar in the tank mean? I mean it means uh, a homosexual, I believe, is what silence do good is. You know, a little dicey, dicey to say sugar in the tank, but I, I get what I get what you mean. Um, I'm asking you for educational purposes. Why is it sugar in the tank? I don't know. Maybe because the idea that uh, they're sweet or like nice or something. Oh, sweet people. I don't know. I don't know my historic homophobia. Story. <laughs> 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 I know that's a good point. I'm not really thinking about this strategically. If I kill Brendan, then the show's over. <laughs> I was like, we both kill Brent. We both oh. kill like, only the show. We're so stupid. The, that was probably one of the most redacted things that we've ever done. Right now, I think Curtis plays because he's a horrible matchup. His wrestling is, dude. Yeah, dude. If Brendan were to die, I could never watch Gringo Poppy again. Because every time I watch it, I think like, how can he outdo this? You know what I mean? No, everyone's saying sugar in the tank. I mean, listen, sugar in the tank is is not a not a sad thing. Is that offensive? I don't know. I don't know anything. The pizza looks terrible. Hey, listen, it's really good. It's Pizza Hut. We didn't go full out and order like uh, your normal great LA pizza, which actually LA has great pizza, yeah. but we're too lazy, and we spent a thousand dollars on the fight. Mm. Oh well, there you go, silence. So, way to clear your name, and thank you for that. Yeah, Joe Rogan used. I think Joe Rogan's dad also said that about him, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You're like go. Did you ever watch that video? Um. Yeah, I did. Sadly, not a good look. Tony Ferguson lost his fight, I fear. It looks like he's getting choked out here. He's about to tap, maybe. No, I don't think he's no? getting choked. No. It's that arm is there, though, right? No! Is it gonna be a, no. Get out of it, Tony! Oh, now I would tap if I was there. It looks like he's about to don't die. Tap. Is he tapping with his legs? He's no go out. Tony's not going to tap. I think he's going to pass out. Tony's, oh. Oh, he's fighting back. This is riveting. So that, yeah, dude. Oh, I was okay. Damn. Get, get the, get the doctor out there, man. Pauly Shore's coming with the. Is that for real? Pauly Shore's gonna show up in the. No, I think he's just doing a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you know how Pauly walked out, and then he did the bit about doing coke. Yeah. Um, crispy crust pizza all day. Mike, Mike Aranda, shout out to you, bro. I've been t- chatting with him in the DMs. Oh, you know Crispy Crust? Your balls deep in uh, L.A. pizza? Crispy Crust is good. They got good deals. 
I haven't had that in a long time, though. Mm-hmm. He was not tapping. I think um, my favorite pizza in Los Angeles is Masa. Ever heard of it? Masa? Masa. M A S A. Oh, not Masa. No, well, Masa I've heard is really good, but that's an expensive pizza. Mm-hmm. Masa apparently is very good. I want to go there, but I have not been there yet. Shout out to uh, Frank. Frankie, uh, what's his name? Frank U. Frank U. Loa. He works valet there. Oh, right. I forgot he does. Prince Street. That pizza is really good, but it's like super uh, greasy. I know that makes it sound bad, but it's actually really good. Here's Michael Chandler. Here's Nate Diaz. Man, you're on a five fight losing skid. Here's skid. I heard skid, but I thought you said skit. Some belt buckle on Bren. Check out the check out the brain on Brad. That's the last we see Tony mm. Now we're not doing any Mexican cookies this one, Ryan. No, Ryan, be cool, dude. You have to send two hundred dollars in the chat for me to do that. <laughs> Would that be dope? That was a. I think it's dope. Wait, who, who, <laughs> the heart, <laughs> the hot car salsa. Someone he remembers Pace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I left the in ninety degree weather. I, I left Pace salsa in my car like a fool. It's currently clear and seventy seven degrees. <laughs> Today's high will be 92. Thanks, Siri. Will be 68 degrees. Siri will light you up, B. Which one is that on? Is that your phone? Dang, Siri's going wild. Stop saying it. <laughs> Siri's like, Gerardo, I can't look up any more porn on your phone. And then he got cut up. Oh, fuck. Beast. Yeah, green like one. Rafael Alves, Obviously. The worst cut that the UFC's ever made, well, he submitted like that guy is one of the most fun lightweights. Never gets his due. God, I love. I just. I always say we never hear the audio. Isn't that a bummer? Mm. Uh oh. oh. Bradley's reaching for another. Truly, yeah. Ben is balls deep in his seventh Modelo. <laughs> I'm curious. It looks like Tony's. Not You're curious. You're drunk, is what you are, sir. Who are these people? The Welcome to the channel, Mr. West. If you don't know I mean, who any good, of these, good question. Are you? I think he's talking about them, not us. No, no, I'm not. No, he's saying know, who are these people with Bapa? But I mean, if you don't know, you know what I'm saying. Bradley Martin. If you've been on Chang's recently, you've seen a bunch of clips of uh, Bradley Martin. He just did a, I guess, a podcast episode with Shab. Bradley Martin's like a fitness influencer or something. I'm going to mute it whenever they're not talking. Also, okay. Energy shots. That's what your boy uses before every freaking show I do. It's yeah, we're live, Round Ice. 200 people in the chat. Shout out to you guys, dude. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some dice in the chat for the 200, dude. Dicey, dicey. Dice, 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 dice. Yeah. dice. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe because I spent money on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank get, us to, get us to 8,000. We're not far off. I mean, it would take more than 200, I guess. Brady R.R. R. Martin. That's funny. <laughs> hell, Vlad, hell yeah. What did Vlad say? Is that Miguel? I don't think that's Miguel. <laughs> that would be funny if it was. I'm pretty sure his name is something like that. Look at that guy pulling off the bucket hat. Not him, the other guy. Hard to pull off a bucket hat. Oh, okay. Gaslam. Gaslam looks like he didn't show up to the fight companion. He's looking oh, your like Faber. He's fitting there. <laughs> McCorkle made fun of Faber for being short. That's <laughs> funny. Oh, Tur- shit. Bug smell Noma. Turtleneck's dad owns a dealership. Oh, for sure. Is that why? Uh, that, I mean, isn't that a um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference? I don't know. If I'm watch not mistaken. Oh, My shit. dad owns a dealership. Uh, that guy's fighting today, right? O'Malley. Sean O'Malley's fighting? I'm or pretty Sugar sure. Sh- Sugar Sean? Something. I, something I, I, that's like why that. I don't say the first name because I always <laughs> I say always Shane. It Is it Shane? I think it's Sean. I don't even remember, dude. I forgot. I lost faith in him when uh, he like got that fake-ass fight over Jan. Remember the fight? Jan won, but he was like, I won. He didn't win. Yeah. Um, I just remember they were like amping him up so much and he kept getting injured. You know why you say Shane is because that other guy, the boxer. Yeah. What is that guy's name? Shane Mosley. Yeah, that's why. He'll light you up. <laughs> uh, okay, let's play a game since we're in between fights and these fools are talking about whatever they're talking about. Um, 
let's am I blocked? No, KM, we see everything you're saying. Be cool, B. Um the only person we blocked was Crackhead Magician and we lifted the ban. <laughs> yeah, now now every once in a while Crackhead Magician is on the Discord causing mischief. He's a great addition to the family though, dude. To the raccoons all hiding in the tree. Yeah, we have no idea why he was banned. Crackhead is in his name though, so it, it is a, like it's and kind sometimes of a dicey name. I read what he's saying like a crackhead like like Tyrone Biggums is saying it or something, you know? <laughs> Uh, ben the Bane Davis is an MMA media personality who provides play-by-play commentary and on-site coverage for the UFC. Thank you, Chase. You are very helpful. Thank you, now Chase. Now we know exactly who is. Somebody earlier said that he was one of the rogue nicotine reps. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Ferrari owner that gave uh, Brendan a top of Oh, list. Tyler Ghost knows that to get my attention. Flappers is banned. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, flappers can't watch this stream. They can't watch Carl Bassett. And they definitely can't watch UFC 291. They're banned. They can't watch it, but they're watching closely. Uh, you banned. <laughs> hey, uh, Flappers, you blockbuster. Is that your takeaway? <laughs> Sean O'Malley versus Aljamain Sterling for the championship, dude. But that's not tonight, though. That's the next fight, I think. Oh. Tonight is as Dustin versus... Uh, yeah, but you're tripping. I think it is Justin. tonight. Justin. I'm willing to say... I'm willing to be the guy that's like, I might be wrong, dude. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's tonight. Let me no, see. No, because the head that would be the main fight. <laughs> There's it could be a co co headline event. Uh, it could be, but I don't think so. Also, that yeah, the DA got recalled, so they're not going to do that too. Who is okay? Where's the fight card? O'Malley rules. O'Doyle rules. I used to like O'Malley, but I just I really don't like the fake the hype and then getting rewarded for hype. Yeah. Because, like, Jan won, and that's lame that he didn't get. Oh, Pereira's fighting tonight, dude. Never mind. Next fight is Derek Lewis and Marcos de Lima. Wait, Derek Lewis, like, the heavyweight? Yeah. Oh, wow, dude. I love yeah. that guy. That guy's hilarious. The ball sweaty guy? Is that Derek Lewis? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard bald sweaty, and then you're saying ball, like, they was, like, the ball, and he was like, my ball's sweaty. Yeah. That okay. was hilarious. And then he took a call from Trump. He's like, Trump called me before the fight, told me to whoop his ass. I said, yes, sir. O'Malley's annoying. He tried to hard to be interesting. In the That's what I'm saying. I thought he was, I mean, I'm Irish, and I just root for the Irish people most of the time, and I fall into the – like, if you wear an Irish flag, I'm an idiot, and I'll just support you. But then he, you're right. He got annoying, and then the yawn thing. Not to – continuously say the same thing but that really bothered me because it reminds me of comedy yeah <laughs> oh he lost against Chilo. cheeto not Jay. am i getting this wrong man but was that the, the loss from uh the injury is like leg no i'm saying he won though cheeto won no 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 i'm saying that o'malley won the yawn fight but it should have been yawn hmm Am I, am I, uh, is it a painted narrative? Yeah, yeah, I'm right. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, what are you, what, is, nobody knows who you are, B. <laughs> Be cool, dude. Volta, Volta Stop messing with us, man. <laughs> we don't know enough about UFC for you to call us out like this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I like that one. I love UFC. My, uh, my roommate is balls deep in UFC, dude. Every day, every single day is Luke Thomas on his t TV talking. Well, I've said this before, I, never on a live, but. Um, pretty much the only podcast I listen to is, uh, and this is not a bit, is Lug's live chat and then also the daily. Morning combat? Um, just the live chat. I, I, more, I, don't, I don't think it's morning combat. Oh, okay. So it's just him then. I can look it up right now. Aljamain. Yeah, live you know, chat. Malo Melly. I think that Mortal Kombat or, or morning combat is on um, Showtime. Showtime. So I don't have that. What's it called? Yeah. Uh, What's the oh, I like uh, Ariel Hawani. Yeah, yeah. His, Does he uh, have a podcast? <laughs> MMA Hour. Maybe I should start listening to that. He's just entertaining, dude. He's you know very good at speaking, broadcasting. He's got his ten thousand hours in B. Who <laughs> said mutual combat? <laughs> Welcome, Ooch. She'll, she'll light, she'll light you up, B. Who's the dude in the turtleneck, and why does it look like he's about to perform a spoken word poem? <laughs> Or some slam poetry. Yeah, Ariel is good. Oh I did my research. And Ariel's just like a nice person. He comes across like very uh, wholesome. 
What what podcast do you listen? One other podcast, but I'm gonna shout you real quick. The one, the only other one I just up next. I listen to up next. But what what uh, podcast do you listen to? A lot of Joe Rogan Experience, Thick Boy. Still, on, so you're on Spotify, B. Yeah. Damn, I'm not on Spotify, B. Uh, I listen to this podcast religiously called uh, Basketball Illuminati. What's that? It's um, it's uh, Dan Lebetard. His, oh, okay. He's got a uh, show with like these two other guys, Hassan something. And some other fool, and it's just hilarious. They just—it's all it is—is is they're they're in the world of like believing in the Illuminati and how it's all connected to basketball. Interesting. And so it's it's a really good listen. And I will, they do bits. They do skits and bits. And okay, it's, that's the best part. I'm I'm interested. If like, I go, or you saying? like uh, you know how re- lately uh, or recently at the trade deadline, LeBron tweeted, "Maybe it's just me because they couldn't get Kyrie Irving." <laughs> and so with the whole podcast, they would say what they thought, and then at the end of it, they go, maybe it's just me. So, like, the whole podcast was just, maybe it's just me. KM says, have you ever, have you guys ever listened to War Mode? Is that a pod? Um, I've heard of War Mode. I haven't listened to War Mode, but that reminds me of, like, you know, I think Rogan has talked about Dan Carlin. I've listened, I've, I have listened to that. Yeah, but dude, I don't, I don't I paid, listen to it. I paid for the old Dan Carlin episodes. Um, cause, uh, he, I'm really, I'm balls deep in Genghis Khan and he did a big thing on Genghis Khan. Yeah. I had to pay for that one. Oh yeah. yeah. I think I got that for free. I also, I went to the Genghis Khan exhibit when I was here in, in, uh, Simi Valley. Uh, he's cool. I like when people make fun of him though. Dan Carlin. Oh yeah. Like, you can do some good bits on him. Yeah. Doing the fake voice and all that stuff. This is inception slop. Gerardo watches two bears. One K be cool. Kenny. I don't watch it. Lieutenant Dan said, is that Milo Yiannopoulos in the turtleneck? <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah. Um, so here's what I will promise you, Lieutenant Dan. If I ever go on uh, Carl Bassett fight companion, I will 100% wear a turtleneck. Hell yeah. Even if I get real fat. I mean, I'm trying to, as me and Gerardo talked off camera, I'm trying to, outside the pizza, I'm trying to watch what I <laughs> Oh, yeah, what you're, I eat. you're trying to watch what you eat. Yeah, but, um, you know, it's just pizza this one time and ice cream last night. It's fine. Nothing. <laughs> You and Stevie Wonder, bro. It's just like if you are a big slob and you wear a turtleneck, it's not going to look good. So I'm going to have to roll before I go on this fight campaign. It. <laughs> I like that Bradley doesn't give a shit. He's wearing some short gym pant, gym shorts. Oh, um, late MNF says that that we were friends on MySpace. Full <laughs> six hundred said starts Monday. Like oh, the I diet. talked about the yeah, eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, so he, re, he redeemed himself <laughs> or herself from those strange UFC comments. Late MNF. Nobody knows who you are. I had probably like twelve friends on MySpace. <laughs> I I was not on MySpace. You weren't. No, you missed out, B. I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't cool enough to know what it is. War mode is not Dan Carlin. No, we know that. We didn't say that, Cody. We were talking about Dan Carlin. We War talked mode. about. It. I said it reminded me of that. War mode is a. Um, Don't you dare try and shove us. You gonna? You want to go, Gerardo? Me and you and Skankfest five rounds. Hey, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, be cool. A little aggressive, Kenny. I thought we were friends. <laughs> I still consider you a friend. Have you guys been? Uh, have you guys oh. seen Gaethje or Poirier fight? Yeah. Yeah, there was the first fight. I don't know if I watched it to be honest, though. I watched Gaethje fight. Uh, uh, what's his name? Nurmagomedov. Ner- 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 oh, yeah. Uh, Khabib. Khabib. I was going to say Khaled. Well, Khabib, I'm, ass- I'm assuming Khabib beat both of those guys, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's undefeated. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I just didn't know if he fought um, Poirier, too, but I'm assuming he did. Uh, but shout out late MNF. I was trying to so- talk to them, but you kept shopping me, dude. Late, <laughs> late MNF, uh, shout out to you for knowing my MySpace bit. I don't agree, Zemo. I, I, the people in turtleneck don't sling dick in any facet. Now, that's a funny thing to say, but I feel like turtleneck means you probably do sling a little bit of, of dick. Yeah, think about how warm it is when you put a turtleneck on. What happens when you get warm? It gets wet. You know I think the ladies like turtlenecks. Yeah. It's like the, and also like a turtleneck and a blazer. Yeah. You can show up to a work, a work my Christmas dinner like that, looking good. Although, I mean, you wouldn't. You're trying to pick up people there. Yeah, I guess. dude. People in turtlenecks don't sling dick in any facet. Like, oh, really? Like, that's your takeaway? <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> Big digs on MySpace B? Yeah. Oh, uh, we're sleeping on Derek Lewis, though. Look at this. Yeah, he looks intense. <laughs> Never want to fight that guy. Never. He went to a draw with, uh, or not a draw, a draw, but he, like, barely. Did he beat um, Nganu? Um. Uh, 
Um, I feel like he did the first time, right? I'm not. I'm not afraid to be wrong, dude. The first. I could be wrong. I'm we're just like wrong. guessing yeah, we're stuff. We're so wrong. I, I mean, I I feel like, but the way that I think the difference between us and Shab is that I'm guessing these things from yeah. my memory, and he's just like, no, it happened. Yeah, Derek Lewis won. Yeah. Okay. So I was right there. Um, yeah. That, no. Oh yeah. Assad, it was the it was, most boring fight exactly. of all time. Assad Aziz is like it was, it was the, the worst, wackest fight, fight. because it was like early in Ghana. He wasn't ready. I fucking bought that fight, dude. <laughs> well, I bought this fight, B. I just keep like saying that. But the best fight. What, so you bought fights before, right? Be cool, a potato main. Did you, <laughs> <laughs> you it's bought hard fights to say before, fast. Right? What? You bought fights before. Yeah. What's your favorite fight that you've purchased? <laughs> um, I got mine. What's yours? Weili Zhang versus uh, Joanna Zhang Jacek. That was the best fight of all time. I think I might have seen that. The thing is, I just don't. I just don't remember like off the top of my head where my favorite fights that I bought. Wei Li Zhang, and then also I mean, too when um, uh, Connor versus uh, what's his name, uh, Cowboy. Oh, I didn't even see that one. That was I was at UFC though. I went to uh, you went to it the gym. Oh, that's cool. UFC gym shows the fights for free if you have a membership. Oh, I thought you were saying you're at the fight. Have you ever been to a UFC fight live? No, I want. I wanted to go to this one. Me and Joel are planning on getting tickets to Salt Lake City. Oh, snap. I have been to two UFC fights live. You have? Uh-huh. What the fuck? In Philly, I saw um, Tito versus Richard. Oh, my God. That's a long-ass time ago. Yeah, that was a long time. And, so, and then I also I saw one the one in D.C. because I won free tickets to it. And it had the only person that was Struve. I remember Struve was in it. Dude, let's stop talking about dicks and Snapchat and talk about these ringside ladies. You know what I'm Ladies in the crowd tonight. We got some ladies walking around with numbers tonight. We should be talking about what they're drinking, oh, dude. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, Doing oh, a Rogan gosh, bit. Oh, and he's he's going to come up. He's going to get up. He's got to get up. Oh, oh my God. God. Move. Move. This is pretty oh, awesome. Oh, that was Alex fast. Oh, on. my God. Oh, damn. My $5, man. No! Oh, okay. Whoa. Hey, be cool, guys. Get yourself out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> be cool, dude. Dude, did he do a flying knee? That was a flying knee? fucking knee. Yeah. Get out of there. That's game. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Fuck, I missed it. Whoa, yeah. I should have been watching missed that. it. That was, a, that was crazy. You guys watched those uh, slap fights? Yeah, Ryan Landis. He just goes. Ryan Landis, I watched all of Power Slap, dude. Power Slap was the shit. We're going to just keep having to say who's in the turtleneck because people are going to join and have no idea. <laughs> yeah, it is Davis. the weirdest bit of all time, but <laughs> Ben Davis, who apparently is a UFC commentator, commentator, is in the turtleneck. I want to see this replay. Oh, let me turn on the Zachary, we've answered your question, sir. Stop, Zachary. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> now it's, it's kind of funny. The bit is funny to just keep asking. Oh, he's dancing a lot. That was a bubba beast of a fight. Boner alert. I dropped a boner alert on today's episode, and you were surprised. You were like, why haven't I said this today? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good interview, so we should definitely listen yeah. to this one. I'm talking about Derek. You can pop one ear off if you want. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have thought of that myself. <laughs> Okay, here's the replay right here. What else do you got, Derek? Oh, my God. He kind of came with, like, is that a flying knee? Yeah. That's crazy that Derek Lewis did that. He's so big. Left knee right here. Look at this. <laughs> How did he fit? <laughs> How did he fit between those arms? Oh, he did do a flying shit. knee. Holy he shit. He cracked him with the knee. That was awesome. Turtle alert. <laughs> Derek Lewis, Houston's very own. Okay. I didn't know he's from Houston. Yeah. Wow. That's not, yeah, you definitely don't want to get mounted by this one. <laughs> what's, well, Houston, what's that? Alston with salsa on it? <laughs> Dude, uh, that's so funny. Houston Rockets, it reminded me of the bit you were doing earlier today. Oh, whoa. Dash was at the Tito Rashad fight, too. Here, here's my way yeah, I, I was crazy because it ended with, like, um, I think it ended with Rashad. Um, Kicking him in the chest or something like that. He like Tito was on his knees. He kicked him right in the chest. Tito always finds a way to lose in like <laughs> the most embarrassing fashion. 
He was annihilated. I was like, is Tito dead? No. Nope. He has years left of being a read act. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest guy ever. Was that? Oh, that was on the last live. At the very end, you were going hard on Tito. Well, I mean, I, I like him. I was a fan. but And I, I mean, I don't really care that he's, you know, kind of crazy or whatever. As yeah. long as he doesn't do anything bad or stuff I don't know about. But he's he's very dumb. I don't think that that's kind of, like, may, I don't know if he'd admit that. So he's he's going to call out John Jones, right? What? He's going to call out John Jones. That's by Maybe. basically it. What fight did I miss? I'm at work in the kitchen. <laughs> Cody, you missed Derek Lewis versus some guy named Lima. But Lima's ranked 15. I just don't know him. Derek Lewis came out and kneed him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> it's so brutal. Knee or foot to the face is just so brutal. Yeah. It's just okay, here insane. goes. You're just a street fighter now. Apparently, you're fucking Kimbo Slice now, dude. Fuck, man. Like, partially worried. Hey, Bradley Martin. No one knows who you are, B. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Derek is hilarious. Uh, talk about the balls. My ball is sweaty. Dude, that fight was like 20 seconds. He's the sweatiest person I've ever seen. I mean, he had to like f- like punch super fast and jump in the air with his knee. The bu- the two of us would probably have a heart attack. <laughs> Has it been two years? Dang. I'm happier than a motherfucker. This guy came out to get his ass beat. Idiot. What are you doing? Boom. Bro, he did not see that coming. Oh, that my God. Crazy. Put your hands up, sir. Salt Lake City, give it up. <laughs> Bradley wearing booty shorts? Neat. <laughs> Dude, this is... He had a cappuccino with the bills. Oh, Gringo Poppy in the chat. Oh, shit. Where? Up in the top, he said uh, Tito was redacted before the CT set in. That's probably true. Yeah. But now it's more so because he's in a movie called Operation Black Ops. It is what it is. (laughs) Great fighter, dude. Oh, yeah. Silence. Shab has a baby on the world. Thank him and congratulations to Shab, a new addition to the fam. Oh, yeah. Another Chambi for the arm. Yeah. You know he's got to get some real estate on his arm for that. Chambi alert. Chambi alert. Oh, Spence versus Crawford. <laughs> Damn, that's tonight, too. Oh, you're, do you, you're a boxing guy, B? Have you always been a boxing guy? No, but I like Terrence Crawford. I'm not as much. I, I've got, I have gotten. Oh, it's a girl, B. Who well, just, you can still be a chomp. Who just entered the, the room? Who just entered the... Oh, oh it was Ben. Ben Davis, ben Davis back, the guy that no one knows. I appreciate the support, yeah, man. Yeah. I love the love. You get the real one. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, Crawford. Uh, I like Terrence Crawford. I, I'm f- way more into UFC than boxing. I watch, like, the content creator bo- fighter uh. fights because they're hilarious. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Like the um, tr- trailer or whatever. Yeah, th- they're so funny. Yeah, Leanne Rhymes, what's that? Freaking Miranda Lambert with salsa on it. <laughs> Misha Tate, what's that? Um, oh my gosh, she looks fucked. Up. Ronda Rousey with salsa on it. Oh, Jorge Masvidal, what's that? Gerardo with salsa on him. Hey, hey, be cool, dude. <laughs> be cool. I'm gonna keep doing it. If I would have grown my hair, I would have been looking like that. <laughs> yeah, you're you were starting to look like Masvidal with long oh, hair. Be I cool, think. dude. Masvidal's a good looking guy. Everyone's got issues with my haircut. I know. No one no one just lets you live. Nobody understands, B. <laughs> oh, you're right. Ben Davis, no one knows you are, B. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has said that. Good call out, Island Life. I'm going to buy the boxing fight. Uh-oh, three fights going on. <laughs> Carl Bassett fight companion. Ben Davis versus Bradley Martin. <laughs> UFC 291, Alex Pereira versus some guy. Gerardo watching boxing. Join the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go broke just tonight, dude. Turtleneck was the cooney with hair on top. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I actually have, like, pretty much the same mock neck that that guy has. It's in there. That's why I said Uniqlo, because I bought it there. <laughs> Do I have the confidence to wear it? Not often. No. I did wear it, I did wear it to a, a show, though. Um, what's oh, the- Kyle, thank you. 
New Patreon member. Shout out to you, sir. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying the reviews. The content, B. Yeah, there's some other stuff there, too, but the reviews are the new thing. The reviews are, let's be honest, that's why everyone came to see you, dude. Michael Jamel, I do not know who Marlon, oh, like Marlon Brando? Is that what he means? Oh. Yeah, team us with money on top. Not enough money. <laughs> we need more money. We're trying to quit our jobs. Standing over an, o- an ocean of, o- of money. Oh, dude, uh, um, we're thinking about doing a show in D.C., guys. Yeah. Who's out in D.C. that'll come watch us do stand-up comedy? Because we have a built-in audience there because that's where I'm from. Yeah. And Who also wants ha- to see us I at the a, loft? I have a friend that uh, owns a comedy club out there. Oh, we're, yeah, yeah, Armini. Yes. Name and names on the live chat. Can I do an uh, Apple review if I have an Android? I'm assuming the, the answer is no. You can't do what? You can't get iTunes? On? I'm so dumb. You, I guess, yeah, I didn't even no, think about that. No, it's Apple. I mean, you can. I guess you can review us on Spotify, but honestly, just subscribe to the YouTube if you have Android. You know what I do love about boxing, though? Look how old school it looks. Yeah. It looks like it was filmed in the 90s, dude. Yeah, it is like way old school. Unlike oh. the UFC, which looks like like new shit. They have the uh, the lighting looks like like all of it's so like flared out. All the lights, it looks amazing. Come to NYC. Foin for foin foin foin. Oh shit! Thank you, Mitch. You too. Thank uh, you very much, Mitch. Hit you guys up with a tip because you're doing good work in every facet. Wow, that's very nice. I appreciate that. It's a great note, too, because sometimes we try too hard. You know what's easy to do? You just watch this guy flub a word or two, and we're like, gah, 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 gah. you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, he's drunk. Is that the one who flubbed it? Ben is drunk, for sure. Oh, Ben Davies, yeah. Ben Davies is half past tipsy, for sure. I lo- I'm a I'm a conspiracy guy. I've always been a conspiracy guy. I do not think that Bradley is drinking the truly. So I think he's putting them under the table. Oh, giving it to the dog kind of thing. <laughs> I hope he's not making a dog drink. My mom, mom made her homemade uh, marinara again, and you're like, I'm not a big fan, and giving it to the dog, you know? Listen, there's nothing wrong with being drunk real hydro, as long as you're not driving. That's what I say. Yeah, eight inches. EJ said it best, dude. What if your kids? What if your kids' tryouts happen when the DC show is? Will you cancel? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Current Cooney is a flat earther B. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't have kids, so I don't have to teach them how to play T ball yet. So we don't we don't got we don't count doesn't count because we don't got the kids. What is that background music? We have the boxing match right here. It's the it's the walkout fights. Background yeah. You said it best. I just said what it is. <laughs> How long? Hey, Jeff Lynch, be cool, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? You dorking it up? Yeah, but he's talking about them, though, I think. Oh, okay. It's still, still, you know, be nice, though. We started at around 7, so I don't know how long this has been going on. Maybe an hour and a half. You know, me and, you know. Oh, no, he's talking about us. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> me and uh, Cooney, we, our Mexicans are out of town, so we, we, got, we got boys night, dude. I don't think I've ever yeah, our, yeah our, they're not here. They're out of town. See. CJ Clark says, don't get chi- claimed by... It. That'd be so funny if we got Gadoosh not by what we're watching, <laughs> any of the things that we're watching, but by the song from your phone. <laughs> Copyright alert from Eminem. He like you up, B. Yeah. Crackers and diapers. Do you remember the Chris D'Elia bit that he did uh, of Eminem? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bans, bans. That, is, that was actually funny. <laughs> Jeff Lynch said, he's, he's not talking about it. Well, thank you. Back at you, Jeff. I'm We're too sens- sensitive. I want to see. We got to keep up with your positioning. Am I in frame? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I like you up, B. Steve made millions of dollars. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Dude, I mean, band is going off. Ambient Bapa noise. Yeah, I think it's hilarious. We're not even. We're treating them how they treat the fights, dude. Yeah. All right, let's listen for a little bit. Yeah. Bradley Martin sold me drugs, he says, a t shirt said. You sold drugs, dude. What are you doing? I mean, I'll be fair. Like, it was, it was, it's so much fun making the content with Steve when we were able to do it. Oh, I get it. It's kind of a trade off. It's such a synergistic thing where it's like, but also, you do lead the ads. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. And I eventually asked for that. And then it's like, Oh, we're not really doing merch anymore. 
Yeah, he's like, we just discontinued that. He's bro. like, we yeah. quit selling just those, man. Like, no, we stopped selling those. <laughs> he's like, oh, we discontinued <laughs> that, <laughs> man. So no, he's like, no, I know, but you sold ten million of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Sorry, we spent it. Dog. Nah, it's cool though. It's cool. <laughs> but but it, that joke literally came from like a like a tiny truth. That's funny. And then it just you were selling stuck. like hardcore stuff or no. No, no. <laughs> just like live enhancing admitting yes, that yes. drug that makes sense that drug out. dealing yeah. <laughs> this poor guy could you imagine selling Addies selling Addies to the Addies I'm like holy oh shit you're huge Dude, yeah. Shab is like what were you, you selling and can you sell it to me now <laughs> new Marg alert That's pretty funny. new Marg yeah, alert that popped up but between the grappling stuff was the, the Bradley Martin you sell <laughs> Addies I was like what the fuck Oh, go for yeah, Teeth. A, he's just crazy. Steve's fucking Tom crazy. Myers, dude. Crazy. Tom Myers. Right? Okay, so. <laughs> well, um, well, Mojo <laughs> Plata, <laughs> if you like what you're seeing, then strap the <laughs> fuck in. Yeah, bro, Pereira just lost, bro. Uh, but he's still doing the thing. You know, Pereira's walkout or no? No. He does the uh, the three steps, and then the fucking, he looks at the guy with the arrow, and he goes. <laughs> he lost to Adesanya, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. The last like, fight he had. What the fuck is he talking about? Sorry. Just like Adesanya that. played uh, really Possum and then beat the shit out of him. He knocked him out, right? Yeah. TKO. Like Me and my girl bought the fight. I was like, I kind of regretted that one. I was like, I, every time I buy a fight, I'm like, I'm never buying another fucking fight again, dude. I, you know, it's a better deal. I buy it for a year, I cancel it, and then it's 24. It's a, that That's fine, because, like, when you buy the fights, they're usually, like, 80 bucks or something, right? Yeah. So I'm okay with that. I'm not a numbers guy, but that sounds like okay, I guess. Some way I'm getting screwed, I'm sure. We got Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, Robert Pereira. Companion, companion, you got that. You got it, Andrew. You understood. You got the assignment. <laughs> Who's the dork in the turtleneck? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Brandon, be cool, dude. It's Ben Davis. Ever heard of him? <laughs> You're right. It does cost too much, but anything for you guys, you know? Yeah, and it's weird. Bro, Terrence Crawford is still His undefeated. Like he, he like wow. Yeah, there's a bunch of weird shit that said like that's what I don't want tonight to be the night he loses goes, though. That'd be suck ass. Like, yeah, man, $80, uh, how much does it cost you to do the fights? To go to the fights. Well, the fights are so Oh, to go to the fights, dude, it's been so long. I don't remember how much I paid. Fights for or tickets for this fight uh the first day was 350 for like nosebleeds. See the thing about the fu- well, yeah, and then also you have to pay for the flight and and the lodgings and all that. That's that was <laughs> When we went to Jersey, I stayed in the uh I'm not Jersey, Philly. I stayed in the sketchiest hotel ever. It was so scary cuz I went I didn't look up anything. It was when I was very young and yeah. I just was like looking for the cheapest uh, Real Hydro PX, not my joke, but my GF called me a pedo, big word for a little, for a little guy, guy? girl. <laughs> what? I don't know what that means, but thank you. Oh, uh, I get it. I what? Get what? It. You explain it to me. Right. So, like, if Steve his girlfriend actually, like, really is a little girl. It's just my moral compass super fucked up, which gambling. What? It's, it's so his girlfriend word. called him the P word. It's not that crazy. Uh, thing, so no, no, no. It's hard uh, to, like, big word for a little. So, like, so he's saying. Okay, like, dicey, dicey. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. need it explained. <laughs> 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 the real Hydro PX. Be cool. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so when I were, when we're in Philly, I didn't look up anything. And then we got to the hotel and the room just opened and there was like some legit blood stains on the mattress. Like it wasn't locked. They didn't lock. So we got a new room, but it just went downhill from there. Oh my God. But the DC fight, I won tickets to, I was at like this, I, Othman had, had some event. And uh, Mark, do you know, do you know Mark, is it like Mark something? I think he's like a, Mark Harley. No, I forget his name. Mark Munoz, maybe. And he, he did this quiz. He was like, where am I fighting next? And Othman told me what it was. And I was like, Birmingham. And then he was like, oh, dude, are you a UFC fan? I lied and said I was. And then I got free tickets. <laughs> and they were good seats, too. Wow, lucky. Dude, we should yeah. hit a BC. Be like, how homeless are you, dude? Yeah. Wait, that would be tickets. so funny that like that just to uh, ask him for free tickets. Yeah. Oh, Blackowitz. I don't even know how many episodes. I'm gonna put this right here. You, you can see this. I was on for 11 months yeah. and three weeks. And All right, we got both <laughs> fights. That's fair. Yeah, sure, sure. There's a lot going on in these TVs and screens. We, we have four screens in front of us. <laughs> we got the monitor with Calabasas. We got the boxing on G-Man's phone. My computer has you guys. 
And then my TV has the UFC 291. I know he Shout out to everyone that came through. This is last minute. We're sorry we didn't uh, advertise or anything, but figured it'd be fun a little surprise. Anybody with Jan anywhere in their name, you don't want to fight them. That's what I've seen from MMA. But anyone that looks at me like Pereira does, I do not want to fight. Anyone from Brazil. I do not want to fight anyone from Brazil. That's another thing. You don't want to fight people from Brazil because they know jiu-jitsu. All right, so uh, Spence and uh, Crawford just started right now. Chase, don't admit that, that on uh, chat, dude. I mean, we're, we're, yeah, what the fuck? That was a good joke, Chase. We're, we are actually watching this legally, which yeah. is pretty great. <laughs> Cooney, you mentioned that Oathman is somebody. Well, yeah, 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 no, we don't. Be cool. Be cool, like Perez. Yeah, yeah, That's fair. I just thought, I thought I was like. You mentioned that? I have a long time ago <laughs> and not since. <laughs> Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> Thank you for this. Jan rubs a used what? Really? Is that a real thing, Gringo Poppy? Because you're a you're you're a validated source. <laughs> what did Gringo Poppy say? The, look at the green uh, profile picture. Jan rubs. That's that's not real. I don't know. I mean, that seems very dicey, dicey. <laughs> Yeah, anything used in that facet. But, but I would see, like, <laughs> Although at the same yeah, time, though, it's kind of like a WWE type thing. I mean, the Undertaker probably did. The Undertaker ever have rope? I can't wait for this. Fight. Nobody had a lot of shovels. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you call it that, you can just call it rope. Yeah. Then it's less. Oh yeah, yeah, it's dicey, less dicey. brutal. Used rope. Google it. LOL. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna Google that. Yeah, I'm not gonna Google <laughs> used rope. Have you guys ever seen the old T Fat K clip where Tom Segura goes in for the first time? I'll say this: like the minus one odds on this are interesting because message retracted. Warsaw, dear friend. so well. You can get away with a lot of stuff in Poland, I bet. Spence, Spence is wasting his energy right now, dude. But both these guys are fucking good, so. And then checking and the got him down. Terrence Crawford's got that championship uh, mentality right now, though, dude. Yeah. yeah. That left hook, bro. That left hooks He's balls deep in boxing. Yeah, and I wonder how long... Uh, we totally forgot about the fight companion, or at least yeah. I did for a second. <laughs> I'm back in, though. I'm back in. I'm Sink back pisser. In. Shout out, Brandon. <laughs> Who's the guy with the turtleneck? <laughs> ben Davis for sure is going to piss in the sink later. Look at that. How many? One, two, three. Not that I'm a narc, narking him out, but six... Empty Modelo's head. next yeah, to him, Bapa. <laughs> Whereas Bradley, Ooh. zero empty Trulies. Dude, I'm pretty sure I would, I would knock out just from one of these fools looking at me. The boxing and the, the fight, yeah, the fighters for sure. Oh, the prayer and um, yeah. John. Looks like he's almost choking him out now. He should do it if he thinks he get taken down. He's fine. He just gave the thumbs up. He's like, I'm cool. He's yeah, you can see his stomach moving. What's that old commercial? Is like going to be here for a while? What is that like the airline commercial? Struggling right now, though. Yeah. The Shane <laughs> six Modelos, the Shane Gillis was saw <laughs> on You already got up and Gamberg told him to sink piss. Oh, he did? Did he tell him to piss in the sink? That'd be awesome. I missed it if he did. I mean, we haven't really been watching what they're saying. Yeah, fuck those guys. I'm just kidding. Oh, who, shit. Oh, who, shit. Don't you think, like, the shop, shop just goes, I guess he doesn't ask anybody. Like, he doesn't ask his, his girl, his, his Mexican, about the shirt. Like, does this shirt look good? There's no way she's like, yes, unless she hates him. Yeah. Maybe she's tired of his bullshit, and she's like, wear this shirt. And then she laughs with her friends. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to talk about her. You're right. You're right. Right when Too far. Right when Alex moves his left oh, my God, dude. I would lose my shit if people were talking about my girlfriend. You know what I mean? I know. I wouldn't oh, want that. Oh, no. oh, Thank shit. you for stopping no. me. Oh. <laughs> I know, Sometimes I, know I just you go me. You didn't mean it maliciously, but I was like, oh, my God. If anyone was doing that to me, I'd be like, Ooh. <laughs> I just Somebody in his life has to tell him about the shirts. Yeah, the shirt. Your point is the shirts, not the Mexican. Alex was doing well, but that's game. Damn. Oh, shit. I know he could do that for three rounds. So this is the oh, down, this is the downslide for Pereira, go. then I think. Pereira is Tony Ferguson now. First round, TK or not TK of submission. No, he's oh. he's got his chin underneath that arm. He's good right now. 
Yes, Kaya, we're live. Live at the San Jose Jack Johnson Fake Opinion Companion. We should have never done this. There's been three times where I said something and then Brendan said something, the same exact thing. <laughs> this is terrifying. I mean, it's live, so hopefully we have some leeway with our with the with the watchers. See you later, Island Life. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, Island Life, I got to go, cats. Stay homeless. And no oh. one knows who you are. <laughs> Absolutely. We don't count. Or Never matter. Forget. Um, Never forget. Nobody knows. Don't count. Or matter, B. Dude, dude. Dang, it's so hard to choose which one to watch because no, they're, exactly. they're, Absolutely. they're wrestling. Tank is watching these fights in heaven, probably. If he can defend, if he can defend this nicely. Or on set. We do miss him. Oh, yeah, he's a show dog. <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't be too sad, Josh. He's a show Who's dog. the guy in the turtleneck? Is he live? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Turtleneck guy's so boring, he might not be live. Uh, he needs to keep control. There you go. I'll say this. I mean, Bradley Martin would never get in this position. He would have no, busted dude. out of this. I would have beat him up before we got into the octagon. <laughs> Martin's bit now is that he can, like, just beat up UFC fighters because he can lift heavyweights. Yeah. <laughs> we miss you, Tank. Let's put some uh, Let's put some dog emojis in the chat for Tank. He'd have been in the bathroom. Oh, shit. I would just bite the guy's arm if he was trying to choke me out. <laughs> You'd like get disqualified so fast. Yeah, I was just, doing well here. but that would be the move though to get disqualified as fast as possible so you didn't get killed. Oh has shit! A foot like that. Kala Davis, thank you. Hi Shane. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you for the dog emojis. Ooch. Bryce. Bryce Shell. Cool Guy Club. Ryan Landis. Put some. Yeah, let's put some shit. tanks in the chat. Spence just got fucking hit, dude. Mm. That's a that's a knockdown for uh, Terrence Crawford. <laughs> still all right. Yeah. This isn't good. Oh, is this the end of the fight? <laughs> yeah. This isn't good. Crawford will light you up. I don't think so. I think this fight's going to last more than one round because, like, I don't think he's going to get the choke. No, I'm talking about Crawford. Oh, oh, oh. Crawford got a knockdown already. He's doing well defending it. He needs both. No. And he's hitting him in the head. I mean, the, this does not bode well for the rest of the rounds. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Um. Second remember, round. remember that one shop clip where he's like, "You casual." <laughs> I'm a casual, dude. Absolutely. And when it comes to UFC, I'm a super casual. How many casuals are in the chat? Yeah, <laughs> drop some casual <laughs> emojis. <laughs> uh, what's a cat? Yeah, what's the what's emoji ca- for casual? Oh, the smile like this. <laughs> Just the guy like this. Shut them straight up. You know what I'm saying? Look like that guy. I think you're probably right, Jeff, but I don't know. This is the thing with UFC. It's unpredictable. It's different. Well, that's what I was saying by saying I'm a casual. If they're on the ground wrestling, I'm kind of like on my phone, you know? Yeah, most of the time wrestling is kind of boring. But I, for at the same time, I like that they know how to do it. <laughs> I think they're, oh, casual T for uh, the emoji. There you go. Hell yeah, we got some casuals in the chat, B. Um, but that's Chris Nolan. <laughs> Thank you guys for the tips, Dude, they're too. talking about Chris Nolan, too. Oh, Mike shit. Yeah, that's crazy. They sh- that was the best part of the episode weird, today. Dude. We're on the same uh, wavelength as uh, Shab and Ben Davis. Who would have ever thought that? <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> I think instinctually we know that. <laughs> yeah, we've watched them so much. So, we studied it on um, Shab, the Shab averse. You know, Wrestling does not keep me busy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I want to see them punching each other or kicking. Dude, that knee was crazy. Yeah. That, I mean, even though I didn't actually see it live, I think it was worth buying it for that fight. Well, dude, Gaethje Pereira, or Poirier is going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a good one, too. I'm not r- wrong when I say this is their second time fighting, right? I'm yeah, it's wrong. two. It's two. This is number two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He can do it every round. Now Alex, I, I wonder if he does, Rinks. I think that they probably get some money. But Bapa also, is, as we've heard in the past, he's been stingy about how he pays. But I don't know if that goes to guests or is just employees. Hey, David Lyons, be cool, dude. <laughs> we can't say that. Button and up shirt. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's going to make it better, though. To be honest with you. Oh, damn. You would drop 500 a year on UFC? I can't wait till we're killing it, though. We could do that. Me and Oathman and um, some of our friends back home bet. I mean, well, I allegedly, I bet. Yeah. I'd bet with my When you lived in Virginia. (laughs) Yeah, but they actually actually do bet on the fights. (laughs) Oh, snap. I don't bet on solo. I just put my my picks in. Yeah. You uh you have the Cooney show like the shop <laughs> yeah. show and you tell them like don't don't use my picks <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do <laughs> like, don't oh, use my picks because you hang out with a lot of like Mexican biker gangs 
uh, uh, radical liberals, radical. The only thing that brings together the Proud Boys, Antifa, and like biker gangs. I was trying not to say those is words. Is Brendan Cooney. <laughs> Third person B. What do you mean you don't Some know that? Hardcore, like, Dude, Pereira is... It's it's also like the big oh, but this is Pereira's first fight at light heavyweight, too, though. Oh. Well, that... I mean, it, he's in... It's crazy. Someone said earlier that it is that, but also he's kind of still bigger than than Jan. But here, Jan looks pretty big in comparison. He's just taller. Ooh. Ooh, another takedown. Beautiful. Out of all the matches. All right, we're in round three on the like, Crawford yeah, fight, too. So much, the Yuri fight is fun. Jamal Hill would be so much fun. <laughs> Ryan said, next UFC host, or next UFC, you, you got to wear turtlenecks. <laughs> oh, I'm down. I mean, I already have that one, and this basically looks like that. <laughs> that that's a mock neck, though, just so you guys know, I think. Alex Perea breathed on his chin. That kind of became over. Pretty sure it's a mock neck. <laughs> it's yeah, a, dude, you're like, I want it's that a to statement happen. to wear a turtleneck so nowadays. You know what I mean? Um, that's a statement on this. Yeah. He's like, if I'm going to be at PF Chang's, I'm going to be wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> well, B. Late MF says, how do these guys fit in the ring of any facet, of any size? I mean, like, it's crazy. Like, what? That's your takeaway? Any of size. Yeah. What? It, yeah. Why? How's that your takeaway? Oh, is that the ring? Think about that. Oh man, he's on the ground again. Oh, man, it's Jan's just gonna it's get like him on the ground every time. How Jeff do they was fit right in there. Jeff was right. That's how the fight's gonna go. B. Payment is a thick boy T-shirt, a bottle of whiskey, and Gordita Supreme. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that. Send it. Maybe not the Gordita Supreme. That'd be cool if you can gift instead of money on the chat. You just yeah. gift food from fast food restaurants. <laughs> God, did they wear feathers? Yeah. Shout out the only the gift American you need to give if you're on the chat is to subscribe. Subscribe yes. on the YouTube. You know, anything else is great. If you want to see the reviews, join Patreon. I think it's on subscriber-only mode. Oh, really? oh, so everybody is already subscribed? Yeah. Well, like, if you chat. You oh, okay. Well, then if you want to be able to chat, subscribe. Scary Perry gets food. Mm, gordita. Yeah, I mean. And also, he weighed after weighing the next day. He oh, here two, we go, dude. Yeah, dude, Earl Spence is. Four, pounds? That's cool. He's done. Then, if you're on the chat, write a review on Apple if you have an Apple phone. <laughs> I feel bad for people that bought the boxing fight today. It's just not a good fight. Yeah. yeah. As boxing for you, B. Right now, it's just lopsided, but it can the the tide can turn. And so, um, Keem's, Keem's the man, but like me and this I subscribed a long time ago. Jeff Flynn, Thank shout you, out Jeff. to you. Thank you. The next step would be to write an Apple review of Raccoon TV. I'm just going to hawk that every once in a while. But I was cutting weight, and I had to do Anthony. You were cutting, go Ben Davis cutting weight. What was he cutting weight for? He fights? Maybe he fought before uh, commentating. This kid texts me, he's like, yo, fight's off. I haven't eaten in two days. I'm like, all right, dude. How much weight did you cut? I cut like three or four pounds. So the okay. thing was, it wasn't that. Yeah, it wasn't so that you much. took a shit. You don't have to come back and check on your Apple review, just post and ghost. Yeah, exactly, Chase Leopard. Did Chab, he only. He's like, so you took a shit when that guy said that he cut weight or whatever. Chab's always like the. He's like, oh, you don't know what it's like. Whatever he does, only he knows what it's like. Oh, Comedy, fighting, anything. Let's follow uh, Diana Vargas's. Uh, Yes. Lead Just here. Let's drop some weight. Let's drop some tacos in the chat, baby. Yeah. Tacos in the chat, dude. Let's go. Tacos in the chat. Let's all get tacos in the chat. Can you drop a taco in the chat? Because I'm kind of hungry. Ranks. We try to get... We tried to get Walsh on today, but it's his birthday. Yeah. So he's got birthday plans. Yeah, dog. Happy birthday to Brendan Walsh, though. Is there any way we can tell this is actually live? Like, I mean, like that, Jeremy Bartlett. That's how. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, Chins. This is this be the worst clip of your life. Ricky Bobby, shout out to you. Well, Mr. Shaw, your, your lip. Thank you for all the tacos in the chat. Taco cats in the chat. Happy birthday, Beerman. Do you guys work out? Not enough, B. I need to. No, I don't. It's pronounced scob. Oh, we've been saying it wrong. Oh, my bad. Scoob. Eyes on fights, dude. This is getting dicey. It's it, right now. It's in the uh, intermission right now. What is it called? Um, They're in the corners. Corner. Well, I'm watching. This. I think it's like the third round is coming up. I'm watching the boxing. I feel bad, but it's also like two wrestling. Birthday tacos for Walsh, baby. 
All right, here goes round three. Whoa, shocking. The guy who has some of the most polarizing opinions. Like, we're good. <laughs> we have sponsors. You might, if you're streaming, you might be behind. Well, I don't mean to call you out, but uh, you might be behind us. Yeah. But the, the time stamp is on the screen. To ESPN. Yeah. He's a phenomenal The worldwide leader in sports. Earl Spence is getting fucked up. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. The comedy special reviews have been fire. Absolutely keep that series up. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now they're trading blows, though. They're not on the ground. Jan was like, all right, let's box a little bit. Maybe not the best idea, Jan. Watch. Jan's going to shoot right now. All right. Here's what Jan They're professionals. <laughs> Jan is, both of these guys are absolutely terrifying. <laughs> if someone even stood like that near me, I'd be scared. Oh, my God. Ooh. It's crazy to think they're 30 pounds lighter than I am. I remember Yair Rodriguez. Oh, good. Good, Jeremy. Yeah. Always make sure something is live. He was locked for for weeks and like an old school straight up. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, dude. How do you Airbnb that one? Remember when I lit him up earlier? He was like, prove it's live. And I was like, fuck you. Remember that? Dude, they're talking about Airbnb right now. These jokers. They make me feel like an old man. Like these jokers over here. Apocalypse. Oh my God! Ooh. Alex just went like this, like that's it. Yeah, David, the Ben Davis is the one that you're talking about. He's going hard, but Shab is drinking that whiskey. He's got the Tiger Thick glass over there. He's, the Tiger Thick bottle looks like it's almost empty. More tired. Yeah, I agree. They're both fatigued, but you know it's kind of funny. What? Ben Davis brought a six pack and has drinking a six pack. <laughs> nobody else I wonder if Bradley's sober if so good for you buddy but he did pick up a truly at one point yeah. I don't think I imagine that being sober is awesome I heard it's hard to be sober if you have a tiny dick but <laughs> beans and cheese beans and cheese and I told you right it's easy for me to be sober <laughs> you're an idiot <laughs> Gerardo's off the show. <laughs> oh, that's right. Bryce, you're right. He's not drinking out of his favorite shoe. Oh, yeah. Bryce is balls deep in the history of Timos. <laughs> yeah. Saw the B-Man episode. Or one of the B-Man episodes. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I made another clip that I never posted from that episode. The croissant one. <laughs> I don't even remember the croissant stuff. I found it on my computer the other day. Talking about your bean bee? Oh, your bean bee. Wow, dude. So Barlett asked if we no check the comments on flappers. We should again. Oh, shit. I know people have been, I hope people have been commenting. People have been thirsty for another flapper zap, dude. That's why I was yeah. pissed. I was a fighter. And like, Salt Elevation, Lake City, you're like, God. Oh, yeah. yeah. You you might be right, Dahmer. That's why Derek yeah, John, I've sort of like <laughs> lost track of the fight again, but Jan does look kind of like, a little dude, gassed. He's there. breathing hard. His face is kind of. Bloody too. Did that on purpose? Yes. But he's also, oh my yeah. God, he's also countering brilliantly on uh, Alex's advances. Alex kind of looks scared a little bit, but he is advancing. I could also, and this is because like he's been taken down so many times. He's not trying to take him down though, really. Maybe Jan is afraid of the punches coming. It's like at this defense. point where you're like, dude, you have an, a minute 30 left. Why are you just staring at him? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's why. Because Jan thinks he's going to win anyway. So. But I'm talking about Alex. Alex is just, oh, my God. It looked like Jan's leg went limp on that one punch. Yeah, he's going to be uh, hurt after this for sure. You're due for Corona. <laughs> oh, fucking A, that body shot. I can't Some do that. Some Coronas in the chat. <laughs> Let's put Coronas in the chat, folks. Oh shit! Because France is that he wanted. You guys to should try Henry's High Life Restaurant over by where the San Jose Sharks play. Have you guys tried any Mexican? No I was content? just in San Jose, dude. I could have used that. We were looking for somewhere to eat in San Jose when I was so up there. far away. So far away. You down to go? Let's go right now, dude. <laughs> you just stopped alive. Oh, another takedown. So Alex lost. See, but. If you don't do yeah. anything with this, you give Pierre that. So second loss is the down, the down string, or what is it? <laughs> the down swing for uh, That's what Pereira. I'm too but, you know, you never know. Look at B grinder put. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> Boner alert. Boner alert. Boner alert. <laughs> do this with you. Boner alert. Oh, not like a fist, but like a... Boner alert. Boner alert. <laughs> 
Thank you went down there? That'd be cool if we could do well, straight up 10, <laughs> 10 minutes of shop with just saying boner alert. <laughs> ben Davis has become skinny <laughs> Tim Dillon <laughs> to the chat. Yeah, by ship, no private plane, or do you fly like you? <laughs> Tim Dillon going to struggle to get out of the turtleneck. Be, be cool, Ruben. <laughs> Oh, snap. The Raccoon Tweeties boys are live. Oh, Evil Allen, my biggest fan, dude. There we go. Gerardo's biggest fan in the chat. What's yeah. up, Allen? Yeah. What's Gucci? Shout out Luke Schwartz, baby. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, he got kick. kicked in the face, though. That kind of made him think twice about the takedowns. Yeah, Jan won, dude. There's so much rain energy drink on the table. <laughs> also, there's Happy Hippocratum and Rogue Nicotine. And what's the, what are the pills? Is that Alpha Brain? Probably Alpha Brain. They got everything, B. They thought of everything. That's Imagine if, like, you're having a party and and some, and you're, you're, you're like, uh, hey, or somebody, you're having a party and someone's like, what should I bring? And you're like, oh, whatever, you know, whatever you think. And they show up with rain energy drink, Alpha Brain, and um, some crappy Hippocratum. <laughs> Like, oh, my God. That's actually a great idea, Cool Guy Club. I don't know if you're making a joke. You guys should review Blackfish. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, but we that's, like, for sure copyrighted. Pa- Patreon, yeah. You get douche quick with that one. Bobby Levers, Brad Williams, be cool, Ooch. If I went to a party, I would bring Happy Hippocratum, Rogue, Creati- Rogue Nicotine, Rain Energy Drink, and alpha it's, brain for everybody. It's in its own way. Yeah, that table listens to a lot of JRE. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, Gerardo, Gerardo quit the podcast months ago. So, this is Daniel Jimenez. Yeah. <laughs> Gerardo has long hair. He's a fucking weirdo, dude. <laughs> Big dick, though. Gerardo, Gerardo threw Daniel Jimenez through a glass door. <laughs> So you want to say bang, 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 bang. Jan won that one. What are they talking about now? Well, everyone's just filthy. Dare for oh, nuts. Everyone. Split decision? Yeah. I can see that. I give it to Alex. What? I'm biased, though. No. Oh, he was right. No way. Yeah. Yes. Look at that. We're casual. Yes. What the or I'm casual. Fuck. Maybe we weren't really watching. Oh, my God. I, I was watching a lot of the Earl Spence fight. But... No, you didn't. No. No. <laughs> Everyone's booing, so we're not wrong. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Miss Gerardo. It could have went either way. No one got robbed. Yeah, definitely. If you told me I was going by a decision, I would say you have They might be booing because there's more Polish people in the crowd, though. <laughs> well, what? I'm not, it wasn't even a joke. There's all those Polish flags up everywhere, and people are wearing red. I think they're Polish. Do you think there's a lot of uh, Brazilians in Salt Lake City? No, but I feel like people that go to fights are actual fight fans. And it looks like he lost. Like we just said, it looks like he lost. Then when they showed the crowd, there was like a whole section of Polish people. Oh, okay. You're such a casual. Walter, be cool. <laughs> Poland, what's that? Russia with salsa on it? No, we're also watching the fight, Evil Allen. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. We have the fight uh, on yeah. in the background background. So we have the companion on in front of us, and then in back of that, I have the fight on on my TV. We have four screens on. We also have um, Periscope doing the roast battle. <laughs> John Poland instead of John Africa. We also have a secret camera in the Yuhu room. <laughs> I just sucked Joey Diaz's dick for five minutes in the belly room. John Poland. <laughs> Ooch is so good at these okay, one-liners. Mr. Polish <laughs> foods. I mean, I'm putting that on up. But I mean, he's and 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 he seems like a really fun guy. Like I've seen him in a lot of. Uh, do you know he's that great, he's great for the division too? Like yes. they need the UFC. They're trying to set up uh, Izzy Pereira part fucking five, dude. I don't know about that. Maybe. Well, Izzy's lost three times to him. So he's only won once. Or I think, no, Izzy's won twice. But once in kickboxing, once in the UFC. Uh, Pereira's won three times now. Once in UFC, twice in kickboxing. And when Izzy won in UFC, he was like, all right, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Got my Ugg boots on, my night vision goggles, my big dick's right there. Sorry about that, Alex. And he was out of there, dude. Right? In the chat, if I'm right, put some cry emojis, please. Kyle says, 
What Kyle? Uh, what comedian could Bappa beat in a fight? Probably most comedians. Ben, Brendan Cooney. Definitely Brendan Cooney. Definitely Luke Schwartz. Izzy will get murked again. Um, okay, so there's alien emojis. I don't know if I'm correct then. And they reward him with a move what? Up. <laughs> so I'm saying they're try, probably trying to set up oh, part six oh, wait, of the. Oh, I, he, I don't know how many times they fought, but isn't isn't, isn't there somebody else for Izzy to fight? Yeah, and so they gave him a boost. Up uh, by heavyweight. He's and he's in a bunch of weight classes <laughs> no, now, right? Uh, Izzy's yeah. light heavyweight and middleweight, but he fought middleweight he's champion so for fine. with uh, Alex Benedict. Yeah, okay. It's three to one for Alex. Okay, three one, not three two. I'm pretty sure Izzy won once when they were they fought four times. Izzy's one and four. These judges are out of control. Most of them. Oh shit! Earl Spence got knocked down again. Oh my god! Look at his face. Oh my god! Val Woodburn. Val Woodburn's the. He's the goat. <laughs> Did you go from that to Bo Nickel? Then also, you know. He's about to lose right now. He's about to lose. That guy to fucking Paul Craig to. Is he fighting Strickland? <laughs> He's a savage. Oh my! Oh my God! Why would you keep fighting, dude? He said Paul Craig. That's the guy that was like, "Hey, I heard you're the CEO of PF Chinks." I'm surprised Bob is saying anything nice about Paul Craig. But Bonica's calling it Hamzat. Two kickboxing, two UFC. I don't. I don't like that. I don't even know what. Oh, oh, Bueller's a L uh, Dodgers dude. I don't know that. Carl Malone, why Carl are they Malone. putting him on the screen? What's that? John Stockton with salsa on it? Carl Malone is Bill Cosby what? with kids on him. That's what he is. <laughs> what? You didn't know that? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I did hear something bad like that. Shame on you, Carl. He was young. <laughs> what? He said, shame on you, Carl. And then, and then Vava said, he was young. God knows what they're talking about. Maybe the same thing. He was young. <laughs> That's going to be isolated. They are talking about what you were talking about. Yeah, dude. Yikes. The girl was 13 years old. What happened? Well, I don't want to talk about that. He got so a woman whatever it pregnant. Is bad. Dude, Ben Davis is drunk as hell. Joseph Smith. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't establish the Mormon tradition here, they wouldn't be so high up. Ben, you need to calm down. Oh, shit. Somebody check Chang's. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> check Chang's. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Somebody, Spence, somebody, this motherfucker tab. is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Carlton Malone, <laughs> George Carlton Malone, oh, Malone yeah. the diddler. Uh oh, they're calling you Dalia, Carl Malone. And he's winning the other rounds. Carlton Malone, <laughs> George Carlton Malone, and ever heard of him? <laughs> Damn, he got knocked again, bro. Malone, why are they letting him fight? No, he's done. He's done. Or no, that was the end of the round. Not as bad. Not as bad. Not as bad. Like they're both still in their prime. Malones instead of Mahomes. Patrick Malones. Should happen three years ago. Then Earl Spence in the car crashes. Carl oh, shoot. they're talking about the boxing too. So are they watching both fights too? No, he was asking Chin for an update. Oh, Brandon, I'm curious. Okay, uh, here oh, go. here we go. Let's see. <laughs> he just said eight inches. Yes. Yeah. Bone <laughs> alert. Yes. <laughs> wow. This it's guy not is that funny. Drunk man. as fuck. Like traditional so martial drunk. arts, the art of war, yeah. if you will. Mm -hmm. What's when you like subscribe to some Sun Tzu type bullshit? Well, I, don't that. That. No. No, I, I don't subscribe to that. No, I don't subscribe to Sun Tzu. Didn't come up in like that. You can't read martial arts like. To me, it was just an athletic competition. Hey, books, you're blockbuster. <laughs> I would better if I like, if you had that channeled yeah. like the GSP, like martial arts. You were just more like, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. You did gay. not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Reading? No. Everyone is so drunk by Bradley <laughs> Martin. I love kids, it. Dude. Yeah. No, but like the GSPs and like those uh, those guys that channeled that, I I think it was almost, it was almost like about? the guys that like, channeled what? God on their side. I don't want to be mean because I feel like this is probably the best content I've seen of Bapa so far. This He's with great. the boys having fun, dude. He's firing on all cinders, as yeah. I would say. Cinders. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda is not smart enough for the art of war. He yeah. subscribes Definitely to stealing Theo Von's haircut. <laughs> Kyle Frazier, why'd you delete that? Training camp? Yeah, yeah. I uh, pulled a hamstring. Kyle didn't want that. Theo to see it. And then I could have oh. went Hi, Shane. from like Miami, the Dolphins, the Jets. <laughs> but well, I realized Sun Tzu talking about Haram, baby. Like, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if uh, Bapa was a zookeeper? Right. There'd be yeah. so many Harambes. Right. Oh, yeah. I feel like a lot of people in that situation would have taken the practice squad. And For been, sure. Like, yeah, a lot of guys do, and then it. some make it, yeah. most don't. You know, so you're just like this practice squad guy. 
people that's what you were, dummy. Yo, wait, you weren't even that. You were the coffee guy, right? He got cappuccinos for them or something like that. He was not even in that. Like early, Sean Sean was saying he's not even in the NFL at any point. And any fast. We're so not missing it, David. It was like a science weather class. It was <laughs> so fucking boring. Dude. Like all the different clouds and like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bitch, I don't want to be that. Kathy Saban on Nine News. Like, I don't give a shit, bro. I don't That's care about this cumulo nimbus stuff. What? Like, yeah. Nimbus, yeah, all that bullshit. <laughs> it, was, it was a whole semester of like weather. You're like, Chin oh, the Blake clip. God, How did you end up <laughs> in that fucking class, dog? It was, it, was, it was one of the requisites I had to have. Requisites. I was in business and sociology. Oh, I and I had to have one of those. Pre- like, that, yeah. I was like, oh, weather, that'd be easy. Oh, my God. Is that no. so Why boring? does Papa choose yeah, words that he knows are going to be difficult? Yeah. Astronomy, I did like an he, it's, it's part of the marketing B. He's a marketing genius. And it was all physics. Similo Numbus. I, I was online, and I was like, I thought this was going to be about astronomy. Henry Wallace's yeah, props exactly. to you guys for dealing <laughs> with this. Shab is so <laughs> unbearable <laughs> in every facet, <laughs> and that's just like, a narrative I've creative. created. Yeah, uh, uh, no, I, I don't think you created a narrative there. Like, I, I, think, I don't think that's painted. I think you're right. I think you're right. You know, I think you probably have the least painted narrative I've ever heard. You know, Papa gonna roof you that little turtleneck or dime piece. <laughs> 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 that's a narrative I want to see, B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's a narrative that was that was created. Shop is puffy. <laughs> Scoob. Every facet. What's Bradley Martin eating? Popcorn. Um, uh, Truly alert. <laughs> Sober alert. I, went down to, uh, I did hear that, Andrew. Also, you know, subscribe to Sean's YouTube. He is, uh, yes. he's got a podcast now and he's uh, doing YouTube. Has he released an episode yet? I don't know. He texted me about it and I tried to give him some advice, but, uh, you know, I don't know shit. I didn't use any of it. It's just part yeah, of this it. isn't Mystery Science Theater. These guys now subject themselves to <laughs> Fair enough. It, it's at our own detriment, too. Like, there's times <laughs> where, like, off camera, where we're like, dude, what's the matter with us? Oh, for sure. I'll say things like Shab in real life. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. We talk Shab. Is it? We talk in Shabanese now. We can't yes. help it. This is oh, such a good bit. Othello BT. What's up, Othello oh, BT? Never met you. You're a great guy. Never met him. <laughs> I liked Brandon's comment, though. Popcorn from GNC. When Mike Russo Br- <laughs> Bradley Martin goes in, I want something like uh, <laughs> like popcorn. They're, oh, yeah, we got we got this popcorn GNC, but it's just pills or something. <laughs> Wait, how are socials? Great, great question, Kyle. All right, I want to ask you. Okay, no chat for a second. So put cry emojis in the chat so he he doesn't read uh, emojis. Um, who do you have in this fight? Wait, is this the main event right yes. now? Yes. If it's not Mr. Beast, I'm oh. talking about Gagey won last time, right? Or did he? I don't even remember. But I'm rooting for Poirier. You are? Mm-hmm. Dude, I can never root against Gagey, bro. Why? He just looks like crazy. And he's, he is crazy. He's a crazy person. Pori is too nice for me. Like when it comes to fighting, I want to see the the most fighter type person. I want to see who won last time. Yeah, good. I mean, I'm sure someone will say in the chat, but God knows you can't trust them. <laughs> and there's a lot of crying people in the chat right now. Ben Davis was outed on Twitter for having something in common with Esther months ago, but MMA community was cooler than I expected. Dustin won last time. He sounds confident, but I'm gonna double check. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you can never trust this. We post and ghost. We don't read the comments. <laughs> The hell is it? Oh, yeah, he did beat Gagey. Well, I'm redacted as usual. <laughs> I got my money on Gagey, though. He's insane. <laughs> Gagey's Mexican. <laughs> Dustin's going to win again? Heard Esther goes both ways. Yeah, we're actually looking into that. We have our team uh, behind the scenes. <laughs> it sounds gross when you say it like that. but When people say I'm a Web3 marketing specialist, I'm like, what? Yeah. Web3 marketing specialist is what I just heard from the chat. Ben Davis. Ben thinks that's hilarious. Oh, Reddit. Reddit alert. Reddit alert. Teachers are incels. You ready to back it up a little bit? Fuck. Yeah, break it up a little bit. What do Who's the dark web specialist, bro? Motherfuckers on Reddit. Motherfuckers on Reddit, bro. Yeah. I'm going to be loading up on passports. Bradley's homeless, maybe. I'm just... I'll check my you train with Whitney? I was his second fighter ever. 
pull that up, Clint. Fucking bananas, dude. Yeah, if There's any cats are watching Carver, us, you got to get that Reddit clip Carver. in there. Shane's a dog. Yeah, but it means Shane Carwin together. It's all about you, marketing okay, so dollars. Trevor, is I thought Shane like Carwin was homeless. Or does he, I think he's he a little like homeless. A, like, no, he's always like the half. Shane Carwin? Yeah, yeah I don't think he likes Brandon. I mean, who isn't at this point? You you went, you were eloquent the other night in saying like everyone's becoming homeless. There's somebody that did work for you and you saw him elsewhere. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. This guy, um, I hired him to come look and see at the fridge at work, and he he'd also done some work. It ended up being the same company that did work on this house. Yeah, and he was like, as he was leaving, he goes, "Boner alert!" He was like, "Boner alert!" No, I wish. He was like, I saw your podcast, man. And I was like, oh, cool. Thanks. He's like, I has funny stuff, dude. That Brendan Schaub guy. He's so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Even that guy is homeless now. How much of the L.A. comedy scene is homeless? A lot of it. I mean, I'm hoping that everybody becomes homeless so this can be just a, a great community where we can all talk and shove knees and enjoy each other's conversation, you know? Met a cat in line to see Annie. Took three years to meet one. Wow, three years, babe. That's a long time, but it's worth the wait. I mean, I was telling, uh, I was telling you a couple of months back that every time I go to an open mic, nobody knows me from Eastmo. Like people that I don't know uh-huh. that are like, "Hey, Gerardo," they're always uh, from either Ten Minutes of Shop or Raccoon Tweeties. That's great news. I'm glad to hear it, and I want that to keep happening. Greenage. <laughs> I am the third revelation. So the main event is happening now. I'm, I think I knew that poor A won. I just, my brain shobbed it. Because I just, now I remember that kind of. Dude, Earl Spence is fucked up. Terrence Crawford, it looks like he just went, he was chilling at the beach. Ryan, there are people that are fans of Shab's Shab's comedy for sure. Yeah, we get lit. We get lit up by them and yeah. the comments from time to time. Yeah, this one guy left a a very redacted comment, meaning it was redacted literally by YouTube, right? Where he described how the, uh, a BOMB would go off in our mother's basement, <laughs> and then he said about how each wall would fall slowly, and then behind the walls we would see Team Thig staring at us, ready to mess us up. Because if we saw him in person, we wouldn't say the things we said online. Right. But enough about Miguel. <laughs> Shout out to Ivan. I saw you say something, but I don't know what it was. That's part of the Patreon, too. I think that's the episode, of, the first episode of Hidden Comments, where uh, that comment was so crazy. Yeah, it was, a, as Evil Allen, it's a highly redacted comment. Oh, yes. Even YouTube was like, oh, be cool, dude. It was on the um, hidden, hidden comments, right? You, you were saying? And I'll say this. Yeah, there's two parts of to hidden comments. There's the ones that are kind of hidden by for spam, and then the ones that are quote unquote potentially inappropriate. <laughs> they get hidden seven days a week. Yep. And for me, I was like, and a lot of fans are in the hidden comments too. Would you, yeah, a lot of weird. YouTube alerts. is like has weird like they just words they'll that they think are bad. Or if you reply to something dicey, you might just get a douche for that. <laughs> Kyle Fraser, Geraldo said, "Is that like the ABCs with sauce all over?" It? That's so funny. I love the comments, but audio. It's true, Ryan. <laughs> the thick boys need their own podcasts. I would love to see. Who's oh like Chin and they had uh, Cats After Dark. I mean, my my new thing is I want to get um, uh, Ben Davis on uh, Ten Minutes a Shop. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Let's get Ben on. He can come over here and get drunk. I don't know the. I mean, I, I mean, just get. I mean, you could just guess. Oh, you, oh, okay. That's why the Mojo Plata. I remember starting to read that comment when I when I was reading it. it got uh, gadouched. <laughs> right. You should get Bradley some shit. Still can't believe you ate that disgusting Mexican. Hey, be cool, I, Evil Allen. I know that was gross. <laughs> And I would do it again if we could get to a thousand Patreon <laughs> subscribers. I'll smoke. I'll smoke kratom out of a crack pipe. You guys could tell how many patrons we have by the amount of redacted things we do <laughs> after oh. each hundred. I'm sure there's. At th- I, I remember distinctly Whoa. 300 was kratom. So yeah, yeah, maybe out of 300 seems low for kratom. <laughs> I took it, David Nunez. I took a date to see Bapa at the Ice House years ago. And she said the openers were funny. Derek Poston and Aishan Ahmad, who were guys. But the main guy, Bapa, wasn't. LOL, this was 2018. Well, sounds right. <laughs> sounds about, sounds historically factual. Yes, I love, uh, I love those guys. I don't really know Derek, but I know Asan. Yeah, I mean, I've seen Derek at shows. 
<laughs> and Mike's Absolutely. pre homeless cat days. Yep. One guy, no, you know who's from Nebraska? Uh, it might be Kansas City, but uh, I think that's I had a lot of respect for Shaw back then. He reps Nebraska, but he's because he uh, he would take us on on the road. It's pretty right. cool, dude. Pretty cool. Sure? Yeah. Great guy. Never met him. He lives, okay. no, oh I shit, Poirier is happy, dude. Because he fights out. Poirier is like another fight, another fight for me to win. One of the best performances in boxing history. Yeah, I mean, Terrence Crawford looks like he hasn't even fought yet. He just looks sweaty like he ran a mile or something. <laughs> me running a mile makes me that sweaty. <laughs> oh, there's hot chip today. No, we did not come prepared with hot chips. We will, we will I forgot. We did say we might do that, but this was sort of like uh, a spur of the mo- whatever that phrase, yeah. like something of the moment. Yeah. Spree them. What is it? Spur, spur of, the, of moment? the moment. Spur of the moment. We just were like doing, we were recording the episode and then... We knew that the Carl Bassett fight companion was going to come on, so Gerardo suggested that we do this. <laughs> we all, we also we had are. some shows in uh, Europe planned for today, but we couldn't make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My I kids to, got baseball right now. Gerardo's kid. I had to teach Vince Caldera how to swing a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> I had to teach Luis Lemus how to catch a football. I thought you'd ha- have a new pet every episode. Oh, that'd be funny. What's that? Oh, like go with shop. Jacob uh, suggested bringing his ca- his dog. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, we don't have a. We, Jacob's not here, but you know, next live, maybe. Yeah, maybe we we might have a guest too. We'll see. Let me see here. The fight's over, so I'm gonna turn this off. I mean, I hope not, David. You know, but you never know. Could get good douched. She, she you. Yeah, she did. We do this for you guys, not yeah. them. So if it gets good douched, it gets good douched. We discussed that before the podcast. <laughs> yeah, dude, we just uh, we're betting on ourselves. Yeah. Most people don't know who he is, but he's the live show. How'd that go? <laughs> good douched. Good douche, right? But yeah, we want to do the hot chips. We want to do something with hot Cheetos. I don't know who Moloch is. So I'm gonna go with Lucifer. Just my opinion. <laughs> oh, Moloch is the owl god. Okay. You do not worship Lucifer, do you? I know. Dicey, dicey. I checked out again from... Oh, yeah. I have not companion. Been. I'm like, what are they saying? <sighs> this is the fastest, though, I feel like. I mean, from the clips that we watch on Chang's, it seems like there's a lot of dead air. Yeah, and like them kind of waiting around. Is that just Chang's <laughs> editing? Because there, there's been nonstop chatter from these people. Yeah, well, maybe they they watched the tape and were like, "Yeah, we gotta improve on these areas." Guy, oh, damn, dude. Braceway says that his shirt is twelve is a thousand two thousand two hundred dollars. That's crazy if that's true. It looks like it's made of paper mache. Look at um, Thomas. Stop voting Democrat. Commented. Gooch. Stop taking my comments down, YouTube. I saw that. I was like, damn, why is YouTube perskating this guy? No, well, uh, how many people are leaving comments saying that we're deleting comments? That is true. And yeah. then you click on their thing on the app, and it shows like 50 comments. And you're like, well, all those are up. What, yeah. what got deleted? There's one I'm guy sorry a, of five of your 60 comments got gadooshed. Yeah, by YouTube. We're not doing that. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, yeah. I'm see, definitely not I never that. asked you because I didn't want to embarrass you. Yeah. I didn't want to be like, hey, are you deleting comments? But I'm like, you no, know, don't you listen know. to comments, dude. Yeah, you know I'm not. I don't know how. Don't read the comments. I told you, dude, post and ghost. The only time I ever, well, I mean, I can't say for sure because it's been so long I don't remember. But the only time I remember is when I removed that guy that kept talking about how much he loves Hitler. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about I was about. like, I can't. I just, that's too And then far. he left one funny comment and you're like, I mean that one's funny, but the other remember <laughs> no. that he left a funny yeah comment? he left a funny oh, comment oh. and you're like, dude, but this is the same you were like you told me the comment you're like but this is the same guy that comments about that one dude that led the forties ah, okay fair enough and I was like oh yeah gadoosh him dude and then crackhead magician comes in and he's like hey why'd you guys gadoosh me <laughs> an innocent stray yeah who's the guy in the turtleneck I don't even know <laughs> Germany call dice. back call back alert <laughs> boat alert. Brilliant. Tenth inning cards. I mean, we also did bring this up as one of the ideas for a live. Oh, he's dead 260. Oh, shit, dude. On the dot, baby. Here we go. I didn't even realize it started. It started. 
I'm going to scoot. Oh, no, we're good on time. You no, know, Gagey doesn't not look like Canelo. They kind of, they have like a similar look. Do they not? Oh, uh, yeah, they do. The, the red, red beard. The red beard. Come on, Gagey. Gagey will light you up, B. Who's Fat Steve Jobs? Ooh. That's okay. Fuck, there's, yeah. Not a lot. When Dustin pulls he just up has a beer gut. You know, Enjoy. just Game a beer gut. The <laughs> yep. yeah, I want to hear night. Shop talk about this while I'm watching it. I'm telling you, Brad, if he pulls up them shorts when he's in the middle of a fisticuff, just making he stuff up. up. Oh, he just did it. No, no you'll know because it, it's, it's different. You'll know. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> There's some shorts There's pulled some up shorts. tonight. I'm trying to comprehend that there is $10,000 on the line between you guys. You know how, like, uh, old school phones, like the flip phones, no, when you no, push no, a button no. a lot, it kind of disappears <laughs> a little bit? There's a little man in Brendan's head, and the different button, it's, like, kind of faded a lot, you know? <laughs> He's pushing it all the time. He's such a wild card, and he throws like a madman, so it's tough to play him. Ooh! I, I would say Let's go, Gaethje. Boxing, Let's go, Gaethje. Let's go, power to. I think they're equal in power because, like, the thing with power it's a is a little more explosive. Well, here's the, it's explosive, <laughs> but power is a lot about placement. And Poirier is a tactician dude. at placing yeah, strikes and being boxer. accurate. Yeah, the MMA like power, commentary power saying get something. Much when you partially dude, that guy's like, no, this is like, what it is. Yeah, it all the time. That guy sounds pretty coherent for six and beers deep. Guys like Edson. Barbosa, oh, to your point, you say you remember how he's leaning. Interrupt him, shot. Don't let him keep talking. I think if he gets those collar ties, there's a knee. He's fancy. <laughs> Pissed a cuff. In their first fight, like, you know, Edson and um, Cal, like other guys, oh, they would ooh. circle out and Gage would catch him with power. Their first fight when this might be the best fight companion of all time. Oh my You're god! You're not catching him. There's no openings for Gage to to land. These guys are fun. To the watch shorts thing is real, but not oh, his yeah, take. That's hilarious. Really yeah, dude, this is explosive. Like <laughs> How, how do you guys think about the uh, the names on the canvas? You pay a thousand dollars or whatever it is, and you get your name on the canvas. You think Wait, it's a thousand dollars to get your name right on the canvas? So look at those names. <laughs> what are you talking about? So people pay five hundred dollars. I can get to my name on there. You can get your fucking name the on UFC there. UFC be like, no, uh -oh. welcome, not. welcome back to the UFC, Brandon Shop. <laughs> no, UFC would not let me do that. <laughs> I was thinking it'd be funny. Did you make it bigger so my friends can fucking see it? <laughs> fucking they, like, they see cut it. Out, they send it to you. Oh, that's clean. Dustin's acknowledging it. That's not great. No. Whenever a guy acknowledges that, yeah. it seems a good hit. Not yeah, good. don't acknowledge it. Yeah. Isn't it funny how the UFC is like, man, we don't want all these logos on their pants. We're going to put them on the... <laughs> Shop would spell his own name wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he, do, he does He that. did spell yeah. his own name wrong. S-H-A-B. There were Ooh, during oh, the promo code bit. Oh, that hurt his eye. Fuck him up. There, is, there were over 36 logos on the canvas. Not even fucking shitting you. And the UFC's whole thing was like, uh, we did, they just look like NASCAR. Yeah, yeah Gringo Poppy brought up... Uh, yeah. That guy Ramzan Kadir was it Ramzan Kadirov or whatever the that, the is dictator. That left of Gaethje because like that, that, his name is probably on that thing. It, like there is an opening, you know what I'm saying? Do that, see that I heard him. Oh, see he, he you call it. He keeps dipping down. They're taking advantage of it. I'm the greatest even MMA if it coach ever. <laughs> <laughs> even if it doesn't land, it's still it's keeping them busy. <laughs> yes, that's, I think what well, round one is that's all about. Yeah, keeping them busy. busy. Was Brian fighting? Kind of overload them. God oh, damn! Big shot. Yeah, they, I got way too excited. I'm so I sorry. think Dustin might. Dude, be I like excited. Let's get more not excited, beatable. Baby. Come on, right, let's get it going. through the roof. Uh, By Gagey. I gotta hear Bradley Martin. Scream. How you feeling about your Ooh. bet, Brad? I feel good about it. Yeah, it's still up there. <laughs> Gagey's so dangerous, but I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, not great. <laughs> I'm feeling good about it. As soon as I said that, big red. It's hit. okay. I feel great about our bet. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Guys. What do they bet? He's gonna drink six more Modellos if he went, if he loses. God, God, damn. Damn. He just slapped yeah, him. Yeah, kind of slapped him. What the fuck there. was that? Stockton, little two hundred nine. It's yeah, the, it oh keeps God. diving down. Here's the, the Ben's I mean, point. Stylistically, it's an orthodox versus a southpaw, and Dustin is such a dangerous southpaw, and I don't think Gaethje has had much success with that stance clash, mm -hmm. you know? And it, re it really affected him in 2018. I would be less coherent says, with six beers, so I'll give it up to Ben. Yeah, yeah you're right. True. But if I'm Gaethje, I'm jabbing, man. I'm 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 establishing the piston and then setting everything up off of that. He's not. Oh really fuck he's that jab. leg kick, dude. He Those the leg kicks like he did uh -uh. Team, but he just threw that good leg kick there. It's where they went away from. That. Oh he my god. Stop. Oh oh my Gage god. Gaethje's going. Him. Oh, Ooh, good try there. there. Get out of there, Dustin. One round for the yes. deep for my boy. The, the DP, the deep penetration, baby. The DP. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a little dicey, dicey, yeah, Ben. I feel great, man. To be honest. Yeah, it's still up. I mean, this one. I'm a little hungry. Still up in the air. 
but I, I think there's pizza. Get yeah, the popcorn. I was gonna say need more of your pizza. pop, your weird ass GNC popcorn. <laughs> get the yeah, gorditas man. out, dude. So I don't put yeah. pizza in this oh, yeah, temple. Yeah. Listen, Where are some Taco Bell, Bell from the Mexican? Honestly, Taco Bell, Bell Mexican. Pizza, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if I'm hungry good, enough man. and it's around, yeah, that pizza's fucked. Yeah, <laughs> he fucks the pizza, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 not around the neck. Get a little tired. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that pizza. Pizza guy shows up. Pizza's around. It's like good douche. It's been a good card, man. It's been a great card. Yeah. What a fun evening. I just want to win this one. For my boy, the DG Classic Ice. The, the pizza's in the I sink. You're, you're the goat. <laughs> I'm. Pizza really get that big up, ice cube, pour that tiger thick up in it. Put him in front of me. I wish um, we did. We do we have more Modellos, KG? Bro, oh, get a drink shit. Put every Modelo that we possibly have in front of me right now. Oh, so hell yeah, dude. Is, is Damn. Okay. Is, All right. Name in the I waters, B. <laughs> I was too good for it. Uh, Somebody I drink the Dr. Pepper. I was, dude. I know. I was, I Dr. Pepper too looks low. Did out for him or no? I accidentally rushed. I accidentally rushed feet. No one ever drinks the rain part. energy drink. And yeah, you're yeah, coming in with the Modellos. You're the fucking go, baby. Modellos. I think Bud Light owns Modellos. They're stocked through it's the, the roof. It's the female Modellos. Take that Bud Light. And it's oh like, God. Like, we own them so too, dumbass. Modellos now. Another six pack locked and loaded. We got Bud Lights too. There's some Modellos in the crowd tonight. Oh, yeah, Bud Light. Ryan Davis makes me want to drink Bud again, dude. Right. Beer's beer. Beer's <laughs> a beer at the end of the day. I like people to start sucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> people like to I mean, attribute ben, political meanings to shit. You got him confused with Ryan yeah, for a minute. Like, come on. Real, oh, real How would he know that? They drink. But not Bud Light. I hear you. BLs. Give me a couple little BLs. BLs. little BL action. I'll drink you put in a glass can. <laughs> put what? In a cup before you glass put can? Did you hear that? Isn't it weird? How I'll like drink if you put it in a glass can. What is a glass can? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, he shit. It. He rocked him. Oh, I saw that. Damn. Oh, it was a head, head kick. Yes. I mean, Gaethje knocked him out. <laughs> I got yes. the name of right. Let's go. Papa is fucking hilarious. Brought dude. me my fucking money. <laughs> oh, my God. I said I Dustin was unbeatable. To get pizza I know, bro. <laughs> I'm yeah. so mad I'm right the shop now. of this yeah. Yeah. Like Damn. Bro. I didn't even, I I didn't even see it. <laughs> We were talking so about I Bud Lights, blood. man. We were talking about BLs. We were talking about Bud Light and not Dustin being Poirier down. fucking died. <laughs> Yo. Damn, you can't see. Holy shit. I missed it. Oh, my God. Oh, let's Damn. see this. Is that Sebastian? Damn, I missed it, too. I'm doing everything fall. like Shab. Yeah, I know. Fuck, you watch Shab long enough, you start being He's like Shab. He's never yeah. thrown a head kick. Ever. Yeah, well, listen, this is like all the people on the chat, dude. <laughs> just be careful. You can, <laughs> you'll start. You'll be end up super redacted, like Gerardo, me. <laughs> dude, we should have. A maybe disclaimer. you're more redacted, redacted than we are. I mean, a lot of you probably have been cats longer than we have. We should be putting disclaimers in the t- ten minutes of shot before. You're, you should be happy, right? Gagey won. Oh yeah, no, I'm. I want to see it though. Kicked him right in the head. He went down. I saw him go down, but I didn't see the kick. <laughs> you know who I want to kick in the head? Who? Jared Fogle, <laughs> fucking <laughs> sicko, dude. Guy's a sicko. Guy's a sick. Guy's a real sicko. Guy's a real piece of work. Wow, was he really out? Was that like a? He was out. Oh, dude, wait till you see it. I know we're talking. Okay, here goes. Not being gay, but watch this. Oh my God! Shut up, shop, dude. Shop, please. Bam. Oh, that was huge. right behind the neck. His hand was still up. It just got right behind the ear. It was like Usman and Edwards. Herb Dean like came in there and Herb Dean, I mean, came in there and up, oh, slid to make sure it doesn't doesn't get Damn. murdered. Oh my god. That is fucking Boom. ridiculous. Wow. You got to be like real um fast as a yeah. referee, man. <laughs> You're like <laughs> Boom. Oh my god, dude. Brutal. Ben will use any like reason to get now? drunk. Ben's like the f- yeah, let's keep talking. Like yeah. so fight's still going on. This is a main event, but there's a main event after a main event because it's a super <laughs> fun, big event. <laughs> God, dog. Wow, folded him, dude. Fold. That is fucking tough. Holy shit, dude! If if if, if turtle neck. Gaethje by head kick. Oh, I'd love to hear the commentary. Man. Fuck, man. Rogan does not look that surprised. <laughs> you know how they usually do that thing? Where oh, he knows when Rogan oh, doesn't look surprised. Oh. <laughs> That's wow. What, what an epic athletic. fucking so finish, dude. What a card. Second round. Wow. That was a great card, though. Dude. Celebrate the fighting oh, spirit. Damn, that was crazy, dude. That was wild. White Vince Vaughn. Why not? White Vince Vaughn. What's he talking about? I don't know. Great guy. Come on. 
Yeah, he's fucking big. You know, he does jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. He does jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. Uh, <laughs> Did you have fun, though? Gaethje. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking... God fucking damn it, dude. Ben oh, Davis, how'd that go? You know the difference is tomorrow's <laughs> hand was in up. Hold on a second. Doesn't oh, yeah, they're showing the Usman, um, whatever, is Leon fight where he kicks him in the head, too. Oh, shit, tomorrow's Sunday, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's Sunday? Saturday was all on it? My Latino meetup, dude. Literally. Oh, nice, yeah. The Dicey Media guys. Wow. I'm sorry. That's a bummer. That's why you're down in these motels, bro. Nah, Demir um, Shab is drinking. Yeah. He put a giant ice cube in his cup a few minutes ago and poured in Tiger Thick. He's drunk too. <laughs> I knew this was gonna go somewhere. I was like, yeah, I, makes sense. I was gonna let it go because no, I, I wasn't. Because I saw it when his phone first went off. I'm like, man, that's weird. I was, I was like, but no, dude, I was, I was I waiting. Saw, I looked down. I was like, up. that's even fine, but whatever. It's I'm not so gonna weird. call the guy out, but it made waiting. no sense. I was it actually wasn't a metal ice cube. It was a re- and it, I thought it was actual, earlier. It was an actual like, big like one of those uh, specific cut ice cubes. <laughs> Let's see what Gagey has to say. Oh, the BMF. Man, Bradley Martin coming through with the play of the day. That is ridiculous. And here's the other thing. There was no grab. Zero. I think that's a, a mistake on Toys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when is Shab going to get a chance at redemption? This is going to sting. I need to. Bet on himself. <laughs> I needed that five dollars. <laughs> Damn, that was nuts. Corey seems all right. Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> he's he's up. <laughs> <laughs> he's up and kicking. I know, dude. I didn't see that. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy how everyone on this card is very old. <laughs> It's an old man's game, getting yeah. punched in the face, punched and kicked in the face. I forgot it was for the BMF belt. Me too, I forgot. It's kind of like whack, though, too, they made it for the BMF belt because the first time they had it, they're like, we'll never offer this again. If there was a BMF belt in podcast in the podcast world, who do you think would get it? I think that um, Chin might get the BMF belt. Nah, it's between Rogan and uh, Shab. Because Shab's got the black belt in podcasting. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. That's true. Rogan is more of a a, a kick artist, but he doesn't have uh, a lot of height on him. And I can only assume his reach is lacking also. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to talking, Rogan's got Shab all day. <laughs> Look at that right now. Yeah, dude. That tongue will keep you busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I think... Uh, I think... Bapa gets gadooshed in the, like the second round, TKO. Just ivermectin getting fucking right in his face. I mean, I think Bapa would lose on purpose to Rogan. Oh, you're right. You're right. I didn't even think about that. Out of respect. Plus, that's his North Star. You're not gonna fight your. You would you fight? Who's your North Star? Uh, Norm McDonald. So you wouldn't fight Norm McDonald, would you? If it was a bit that he started <laughs> anything for the bit, anything he for starts, yeah. he starts a fight with you. Yeah, that's hilarious. If Norm Macdonald picked a fight with you, that'd be so funny. Oh, uh, Kyle's right. Theo would win the belt. That's true. Theo's pretty great. Yeah, he had to do a few things, you know. Yeah, he had some shit to take care of. Peter North. Listen, Who's that? Say, say who you your North in the chat. Say who your North stars are, and say whether you'd um, you'd fight them. What's up, Mike? Who is John Africa? Good question. Peter North star. Okay. Theo's back on drugs. Porn in the chat. What? Peter North. Oh, I thought you said pour it in the chat. Oh no, but no. you were saying. I was hoping you weren't saying porn in the chat. No, that's what I was saying. Listen, you know, I was 13 once. I know that is. Well, George Carlton. And would you fight him, Calmity Hack? Kamara Usman. Oh, we got some Latinas in the house tonight. some baddies on the ring tonight. That would have landed a lot better if they could see what we're watching. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's women in the ring hugging um, Gagey. Let's just say... He's in, making out with his sister right now. In the Latino community, we call them tortas. 
<laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, we do. You call women tortas? Uh, larger ladies. Oh. They're called tortas. See, because tortas to me is sandwiches. Well, that's, uh, yeah, it's a double entendre, you see. Because uh, some women are a snack, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Gerardo's off the pod. <laughs> Bruce Spring Spring, hell yeah, Scott. He's my North Star, too, and I guess I would fight, especially now. I think I have a better shot at it now. Bro, what the fuck? Jerry, dude, I'm in the chat right now. Thought those are heavier women. Thank you, Mike, so it's not just me. I just <laughs> ate a thought. Oh, be cool, Evelyn. <laughs> Gordita's not a fighter bee. I may look like a bully, but I'm not. I call them chalupas. Oh, that's a good one. A fight companion panion? Yeah, where you been? Can I say Andrew Schultz is my North Star just to fight him? Gringo Poppy is uh, Jeff Dunham as your North Star, B. <laughs> <laughs> my old friend uh, Robbie, his uncle was uh, the guitar guy that would open for Jeff Dunham. Oh, I didn't even know. Who's What's that guy's name? <laughs> uh, I forget his name. I used to know it, but he's the guitar guy, basically. His name is the guitar guy. Oh, I don't I don't know Jeff Dunham enough, enough to know that he has a guitar guy. I was balls deep in Jeff Dunham, dude. Like Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> we'll cut that part out. <laughs> Ahmed the dead terrorist. I remember that. Terrible. I, like Bapa, I'm five years late and still riding thick. Ocho inches. I actually haven't heard someone say that yet. Oh, eight inches? And it's just Ocho. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Start saying it in other languages, too. How do you say eight in French? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. You say it in German. All I know is it's, uh, I don't know how to say any numbers in German. Isn't it funny that like, we know certain things in different languages? Like I know how to say uh, blowjob in Russian. How do you say that? Min and yet. <laughs> min and yet. <laughs> And that might not even be right. That might actually mean that I want to suck dick or something, you know? Yeah, you don't know. Um, and then also, uh, in German, uh, I need to piss like a racehorse. Why do you know these things? <laughs> you sound Russian. Yeah, no, that one's German. Okay. And then, um, what's it called? I think in, uh, what's it called? Indian. It's uh. Buck naked out. Yeah, I've seen the app. But it. I know. Means, uh, Jared Folk is a sicko. <laughs> <laughs> I know that we're a uh, hug league. Oh, right. Yeah. Danish. Yeah. That's our our friend. Our fans in Denmark say we're hug league. I think wheat. that's how you nice. Oh, wheat. So wheat inches. Wheat inches. <laughs> in uh, French. Yeah, you guys have Google. You could just Google all this stuff and do it in the chat. Yellow sink in German. I don't know. Jeff Beck is my North. The guitarist. <laughs> Hallelujah. Didn't he, did he die? Jeff Beck? Yeah, didn't he die? R.I.P. if he did. Oh, are they ending this? I mean, they should end it soon, right? How many, stream's over. How many viewers do they have? Yeah, how many concurrent viewers? Justin going Sizzler. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> the first comment I read is Justin going Sizzler. Yeah, we didn't check any of their stuff. I, no. <laughs> somebody said, who is Ben Davis? <laughs> <laughs> is this symphony? You just said Ben Davis, you crushed it. Feel great, Calabasas li life. I'm just, had Bra I'm just happy Bradley Martin is not back on top. You know, he wants some money. Oh, 3,000 people watching theirs, dude. That's fucking good numbers, dude. Yeah, their numbers, guys. Oh, it's over. All right. Damn. I guess we should wrap it up. Yeah, let's start to wind ours down. Let's have a little bit of fun with the chat. It was a lot of work to, what's it called? Talk to the chat, watch both <laughs> fights. It was a lot of work. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, we watched a lot of stuff. Who is Vin Diesel? Now, hopefully the next Carl Bassett fight companion guest. Um, oh, sorry. I did. Yeah, where'd the chat go? Oh. Restore chat. Okay. 538 in the UK right now. Damn. Damn. Get, get to work, B. Yeah, it's early. Early bird gets the worm. This is how we find out um, how many of homeless cats were in there live right now. <laughs> and then, like, because we've already gone up like 10. <laughs> Seriously, guys, thanks for the live tonight. It was Netflix. Yeah, we. Good. Glad to hear, Vlad. Thank both you. our Mexicans are out of town, so we're just here enjoying ourselves, dude. Yeah. Gelb sinking. That's yellow sinking German. Oh. Gelbin sinking. How, do you want to put money on whether or not the H word piston sinks? Um, the H word? Yeah, you know the guy that ran Germany for roughly uh, <laughs> fourteen years. Oh, right, right, right. I mean, I don't even know how would we we have? Do we find him, dude? 
you there's definitely somebody that knows the piss patterns of Mr. You know? Yeah, I mean that I mean once you find him, then I think you can do the math. Once when he was sixteen years old is when he started to pissing in the sink. <laughs> Ick benign sink pisser. Have you guys seen the movie Waltz with Bashir? No. Something. I've heard of it. I like movies with names like that. Like, well, uh, well, what is it? Waltz with Bashir or whatever. And then also like um, Welcome to Marwin or Knights in Rodanth, like wacky names. What's a uh, Waltz with, is that like Brendan Walsh with sauce on it? <laughs> I don't know. I always feel very redacted at the end. When he was tweaking on Purveth, he probably definitely never pissed. Yeah, see? Yeah, waltz to the truck. That's a good good oh, point. Oh, wow, dude. Mm-hmm. The last waltz, dude. Why aren't you guys at the Barbie movie tonight? Great question, Ryan. Great movie. Already seen it. So that's why. You know, the Barbie movie, I'll say it was good, but it, there were so many people there, it took them 40 minutes to get me my Coke. <laughs> so is a quality worth it? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I saw Oppenheimer. Do you haven't seen it, huh? No, no spoilers, please. Oh, that's the one annoying thing people say about Oppenheimer. It's like, oh, really, dude? That's the takeaway? <laughs> you don't know what happens at the end of World War II? When they talk about how big the bomb is, it's like any of size? Like, you mean. <laughs> and then he sees the video of the bomb and he's like, man. I- <laughs> oh, you know, if you guys are still watching, oh, thank you, Bucks Melanoma. Minneapolis. I think we have a very good Barbenheimer joke in the new episode. Oh, yeah. Personally, I think it's funny. It, it kind of stunned us. Yeah. We it's, it, we say that, and it was Netflix, and then the episode got blockbuster. I want to post it on Chang's, but I don't I mean, I'll have to find the clip. I don't know. Maybe just a picture. Not, the, the not our clip. Yeah. I mean, just the picture of the joke. Yeah. It is very accurate. I think it's hilarious. I made a, I thought I made a funny joke, but it was also kind of Bapa esque. What's that? Uh, we did a on my other podcast. We had a clip about uh, this guy getting blowjobs in the movie theater, and I was like, Are, "Is anybody going to see Toppenheimer tonight?" And then I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see how many people have already used that. <laughs> and somebody already outdid me. They put Sloppenheimer. That one's way better, dude. Yeah. That's that very redacted. Very redacted. What can I say, dude? <laughs> Oppenheimer gets into comedy. Spoiler alert! <laughs> I know you saw Oppenheimer, but did you ever find him? <laughs> Boppenheimer, dude. <laughs> yeah, Bop, Boppenheimer's good. Schabenheimer. But none of that, no. Our, the joke that we did is a, it's a picture joke. Oh, yeah. Um, very funny. So watch the episode. Tell us if you like it. I think it was very funny, though. Oh, yeah. Episode drops on Tuesday. I'm going to have it on Patreon by tomorrow morning. Hopefully. Yeah. If you want early access, join the Patreon. Pee Wee Sloppenheimer, dude. And then the next review is probably going to be Ari Shafir. Let me check the poll real quick in case anybody's. Yeah. If you're already on our Patreon, make sure you guys vote for the polls. I think only like 80 people voted this last time around. Let me yeah. see. Not dev- definitely no nowhere near the. Amount subscribe voted. 70, 75 have voted, and Ari Shafir's in first place with Jim Brewer and Stavros close in second. Okay. Okay. Nobody voted for George Wallace or Ali Sadiq. Well, Cody, Whitney, and Amy weren't on this voting, but maybe we'll put them on the next one. I yeah. don't know. We're also trying to go, oh, yeah, Gringo. Oh, no, not Gringo Poppy. What's the other guy's name? I think Troy McClure. Yeah. He was like, I thought you guys were going to do one Netflix, one Blockbuster. Well, that's kind of like we curated the list for it to be either Netflix or Blockbuster. Yeah, it could be. It could be Blockbuster. It depends. I mean, I think Ari Shafir is funny, so yeah. I guess I guess uh, Troy doesn't. That's fine. Comedy is subjective. Yeah, but we posted uh, 10 comedy specials this time to choose from. Um, and I've never seen Ari Shafir's latest special. Oh shit, Natalie's on the chat. Yeah, I mean we're that that's a great idea, Natalie, but that's an Amazon special. So that will be dicey dicey. We're waiting to do any of the copywritten stuff. Um but it should be coming soon. Yeah, we don't want to get good douche by Bezos. We also don't want to start out with the gadushening and then we're gonna right. be like 
up shit creek without a paddle. I know it is blockbuster. I wish because it's truly bad. It's I watched a few minutes of it because I like her and I, I I had a feeling it was gonna be bad, but it's much worse than you think. It's so oh. bad. It's horrible, horrible. <laughs> Stav is all right. Glad he got away from Nick Mullen because being associated with him was going to put a limit on Stav's success. Elon Musk, dude. <laughs> you could say the same thing about anyone that talks to me or Gerardo, probably, <laughs> though. <laughs> Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Anyone? Is, did he say Minneapolis at the end? Is that why he's putting that over and over? Uh, I don't know, but, you know. Wait, is Mark Norman's thing on YouTube? Oh, it is, right, because he tried to sell it, and then they, he, said, he was like, yeah, no one would buy it. You're wrong. It's not on YouTube? The newest one that just came out is on Netflix. Oh, so he finally got someone to buy it. Yeah. Oh, good for him. Fwah, 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 fwah. Well, I think we should have... Oh, we didn't put Narc Mormon. Narc Mormon. Uh, we did Narc put- Mormon. Narc Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear Rogan say Bobby Lee instead of Bobby Green? No. Oh, no, I didn't Damn, say Damn, dude, that. I missed that. Hilarious. A Freudian slip from uh, Daddy. Tweety's merch. Great question. Never seen it. Uh, we were. I'm in. I'm talking to some people that have merch recently that I really enjoy. Uh huh. And that's the way I want to do merch. Because even for my other show, I haven't made merch yet. But I want to know the person that's making it. Maybe. And I mean, I, the goal would be to get you guys something that you can order. And someday we'll do that. Especially if the the pod grows and you you do the things we beg you to do. But um, up until that point, I'm solely focused on Thick Boy merch and making sure that sells. Yeah. And uh, I, you will see some more Thick Boy merch on the show. Uh, that's coming. Yeah, you should be buying Thick Boy merch, <laughs> wearing it in... Wearing it to your job. No, in the wild, for sure. And then yes. when people ask you like about the shirt, you say, oh, there's a show called Raccoon Tweeties I like a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, still plug our stuff. But uh, yeah. I mean, we're going we're gonna to support Thick Boy as much as we can. When will you do a Chang's AMA? Probably never. Yeah, I don't think they want us to do that. Yeah. In the beginning, there was some people that wanted us to do that, but I don't. I don't think it's uh, in the cards, so to speak. But uh, hey, if the if the want is there, sure. I mean, dude, how are we going to do an AMA after BGLs? BGLs was like the one to end all AMAs. That's true. I wonder, have they had any since then? I remember Felt Face. I Felt Face was before that, though. I think Marg, and then. McCorkle had one, and then also they had one way back in the day, remember? But Hilwani would be a good AMA. Yeah, I don't know if he would do that. or I, Honestly, I have no idea whether he's done it or not. I kind of enjoy how the podcast has grown to us just enjoying Chang's and not really being included at all. Yeah, I don't, mind, I don't mind not being included. I kind of just like going there and enjoying the menu. Yeah, dude. Chang's does have some uh, reactionaries, not going to lie. What does that mean? Um, you know, angry people oh, okay. that are reactionary. Numbers guy, yeah. <coughs> really, dude. We don't matter. We, in fact, do not matter. That's right. Assad, you get it. We don't matter. Then well, count. Dude, this is the most comfortable live we've ever done. Because you're sitting on this fucking <laughs> baller ass couch I bought. This is the best thing I've ever invested in. 100%. Oh, God, dude, this is amazing. This couch is so good. <laughs> <laughs> wow dude yeah i could i'm just like we could end the live or we could just you, you mind if i sleep here dude <laughs> hey man you're always welcome need a bc ama for reals yeah but you know he's not gonna do that he's one of he's not he's a skits and bits guy skits and bits baby but do you get chicks in that couch That's one so chig funny. zero chigs dude i bought my couch for like uh, what, 200 bucks, maybe like 150 bucks. And after two months, it broke. Yeah. I mean, on the one hand, it's like you could go around and look like, cause the couch in there is, but expensive, but it got it on like whatever, one of those Facebook marketplace things. So I didn't pay shit for it. But this one, I just wanted a really nice couch. Yeah. And I got a bonus and I did it. Yeah, dude. You know? Yeah. No, this is, I, I remember you talking about the couch before having it. And uh, afterwards, I got to say, you didn't change at all. Mm-hmm. But uh, the couch is very comfortable. Dude, be buying Blockbuster couches. <laughs> 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 <My> ca- bonus, <laughs> bonus alert. Bonus alert. 
Yeah, my couch is blockbuster as fuck. I was literally watching TV with my girlfriend, not having sex, okay? All right? I wasn't having sex, okay? (laughs) No sex. (laughs) And we're watching the TV. We're like this. We're not fucking... And uh, out of nowhere, we just go, boom. <laughs> we literally just, the back end Damn, gave out. dude, that's embarrassing. So that's why whenever you sat in my couch, you were like sunk in it. We're the same guy because with my ex, we we broke the bed, my shitty bed. It but broke. you were having sex. I think we might have been, but I don't know. We probably weren't. We didn't have a lot of, uh, <laughs> of that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's um, the girl that I lost my virginity to. She... Uh, her mom had like a hundreds of year old bed, whatever. It was like a civil war <laughs> bed, dude, or something like that. You know yeah. what I mean? It was like this bed can tell stories, you know? Yeah. And we broke the shit out of it because we were having sex. That's cool. Yeah. And um, the, she got very upset, but the mom was a little overweight, you know, beautiful, yet very heavy, very gorgeous looking, but a lot going on beneath her clothing. You know what I mean? So she could only really be upset with her voice. She couldn't really like threaten violence on us or anything. For sure. It's a mom. She was kind of like democratic. So she wouldn't own a gun, you know, I am I'm reading the comments while you say, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that means. It makes me laugh, but I don't really know what it means. He lost his virginity to a settler. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does that mean? She was thick. Yeah. Her mom was super thick. Hey, real quick. Um, who's Ben Davis? who's the guy in the turtleneck do you think ben davis there broke in a bed probably um and all i care about is his couch i just don't want to break the couch it's got some it got like one or two stains on it and i just try to like block that out of my mind um and then you know my parents moved to uh yeah i'll lose weight okay a lot of stuff breaks around me (laughs) but uh my parents moved to oceanside and they had a new guest room which is where i was staying for the first time i stayed out there yeah and was not fucking I was not inside of anything. You know what I mean? We were laying on the bed, and the back end of the bed just went poof. <laughs> and apparently it was an expensive bed. I'm like, yeah, it is shitty wood then, dude. <laughs> you guys paid way too much. Watch out for Gerardo. He'll break your bed, B. Yeah, I'll break the shit out of your breads, dude. Breads. Dude, I I love this couch so much that, you know how, like, when, like, a mom becomes super strong if their child is in danger? Like, if this house got flooded, I think I could pick it up by myself and carry it out. <laughs> That's how I feel about the couch. <laughs> you'd save the, you'd put the the cushions in your mouth and like lock out with the couch. I, I would try and I would just lift it over my head with superhuman strength. <laughs> Is that Chael Sonnen? Yeah, Chael Sonnen's li- Dude, lighting the. What happened? Up. Was, he he looks way there. He's doing the face stuff. He's oh, getting yeah. Botox. But hey, you know what? Doesn't look terrible. Just looks different. You need a water bed. Good use through a Civil War bed. Yeah. No, nah, I mean honestly, I spent a lot on the bed too. Cause I got a new bed too. Yeah. I'm a dude. You know what too, dude? It's not my weight. Okay. We're buying cheap stuff. It, bu- it breaks easy. I feel like it's an investment, you know? Yeah. Cause before, yeah, the, the, am, the other thing was Amazon. Now this, I went to the store and I was like, the salesman goes like, no, this is our blah, blah, blah model. Get on. And I'm like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever been in my life. And he's <laughs> like, no, this is the model. It's kind of under that. And it was still kind of, yeah. And I went on that one and then I was like, I had my girl there, and I just was like, I'm going to fucking get that one. And then it was even more than I thought. But anyway, now I'm just like bragging like Bapa. No, dude, it's a, it's good brags. You're yeah. not on Joe Rogan doing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then <laughs> Definitely not a numbers guy when it comes to furniture. <laughs> Hell no. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't be focused on these things, but I am. Yeah, uh, my bed cost uh, roughly $300. That's not expensive at all, right? Yes, thick. it is a thick boy shirt. What's that? My bed, my mattress was one fifty, and then the bed was one fifty, so it was three hundred total. I think that's about. Mine was like a little bit more expensive than that. The Amazon one that was cheap. Yes, my yeah. Amazon is mine's from Amazon. You can get a good one. I mean, it's not a bad bed. It's just we broke it. I am amazed at how much my bed has changed my life. I fucking love my bed, dude. Yeah, and it's like you the like cheapest it. thing I've ever bought. It looks cool. It looks good. That's all that matters, and then it, then it makes you. You're able to sleep. Yeah, you guys heard that. Brendan's been in my room, baby. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. not. That. <laughs> I was saying, oh, I'm Mr. Whole Foods. Huh? <laughs> I think he means it like, okay, Mr. Whole Foods, like I'm, buy, I'm spending money like a Whole Foods. Oh, <laughs> I watched uh, Gringo Poppy in, pre- in preparation for um, Man Tears. Remember I told you? Yeah. It just doesn't make sense, dude. 
What's that? He's dipping his chip in the nacho and dipping nacho cheese. <laughs> okay, Mr. Whole Foods. So I was trying to deduce what happened, you know? Yeah. So he was claiming, as I say that, he dips his chip in the nacho cheese and the nacho dip. Uh, and then the guy must have been like, nah, bro. No, no, no. That's, I wasn't doing that. And then Brendan kind of, you know, took offense to that and was like, okay, Mr. Whole Foods. You know, <laughs> is that what happened? <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I read the comments. Yeah, you fucking. You hear what I was saying? Not at all. Not not a word of it. Oh my god. Mike Aranda says a good mattress will change your life. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. That's what you stopped my story for. I didn't stop it. I thought you were done. <laughs> I just didn't hear. I anything. was asking a question. What did you ask? You do it again. Okay. Don't look at the comments. I won't. <laughs> so the Mister Whole Foods event. Okay. So he's saying. As he says that, he's dipping his chip in a nacho cheese and yeah. he's losing his, right? Yeah. And then he says, okay, Mr. Whole Foods. That doesn't make sense. Right. So I'm trying to make sense of the situation, right? Don't look at the comments. Okay. So he's saying, he's claiming that he dipped his chip in the nacho cheese and did it like, right? We don't see that as the audience, as the fucking YouTube subscribers we are, right? Sure. So I was deducing that the audience member was like, nah, bro, no, nah, not wrong guy. I'm, I got, yeah, I have nacho dip, but I'm not dipping my dipping in nacho dip and cheese, right? Uh huh. And then prompting Brendan to be offended, and be like, okay, Mister Whole Foods, like I'm joking up here, dude. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're too good to dip your chip uh, yeah, in the I nacho think, cheese. I think that's what he meant. Yeah. But it comes across because we can't see the guy protesting. You know what I mean? I I just think it's a no. I mean, I understood already what he meant by it. I, I just think it's crazy to say like that's he's saying okay, Mister Whole Foods like because he has nachos, but Whole Foods is not it's like nice food unless yes. he's like so redacted that he just he sees nachos and he's like, what's the name of a grocery store? Whole Foods. <laughs> it's like okay, Mister Giant. Okay, Mister Ralph's. Like he could have or okay, Mister Mr. Sprouts. Sprouts. Yeah, but Whole Foods has like the the right verbiage to be a great comedian. B. <laughs> Ryan Landis says, "Don't read this, B." And what? then Jeremy says, read this. They're just saying, like, they're commenting, oh, commenting they, and reading. Oh, keep reading it. the comments, B. You need, to, you need to watch some Brendan Chobb, dude. He wouldn't read as many comments do as you Do you think, so um, Kenny's saying MK's on. So they have it right after the fight? I guess that Morning makes combat. sense, right? Let me see. I don't follow Luke like that. I just listen to the live chat. Like, and I don't listen to it the day of. I mean, I'm a, on, like, weekends usually. I'm a casual, dude. I just I literally just watch it on Chang's. It's keto, bitch. Morning combat. Oh, yeah, they're live right now. Um, <laughs> BC. Wow. Dope. How long are we doing this for? Um, we can finish now if you want. I got to edit still tonight. Okay. Gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Let's see the, we're going to end the live here soon, guys. So go ahead and leave your comments, as many comments as you want before we get out of here. Yeah. Let's not forget that the Mr. Whole Foods was just a small part of a vaccine joke. <laughs> so yeah, so he's talking about a vaccine to begin with. He he goes on, as you see, hey, do we chip in the chip in the nacho cheese? <laughs> okay, Mr. Whole Foods. Right. I thought he, but originally, the reason why this is such a groundbreaking revelation to me is because originally I thought you're dipping your chip into nacho cheese, right? That part. And then he goes, okay, Mr. Whole Foods. I thought he was saying like Whole Foods is known for their nacho cheese. What? That's what I thought. Oh, I don't, I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. <laughs> David shouting out his love for Annie Letterman. I mean, they need. Shooting, shooting your shot on Timos, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. He <laughs> really is very hot, not going to lie. What is it? Uh, who does who does she look like? Oh, Sarah, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, that's what... Uh, I won't say who said that, but yeah, that's what one of our friends said. Uh, what's it called? I like saying Scarlett Johansson. It was so funny when they said it. Um, also, yeah, you know, if you do have Apple, it'd be great if you could leave a review on Raccoon Tweeties. That would be dope. Um, Ryan Landis, you're trying to make a sense out of a shop joke. Yes, there's another one, dude. And, you know, these are both ones that we talk about all the time. And I'm watching it with the fine tooth whatever that saying is yeah fine fucking comb what is it called fine fine point comb some shit like that fine tooth 
Yeah, you had it. Fine tooth comb or fine yeah. or whatever. So I'm watching it like I'm fucking digging for fossils here, right? <laughs> and the part, I still can't make sense of it, but I'm trying to put myself in the position where I say the joke, make sense of the joke in editing, and leave it on the special to release, right? Right. The fucking uh, fat dudes saying, fuck that. I don't think he meant to say that. It's like you're you, like a Zapruder film of the Gringo Poppy. You have a watcher from all angles. Fat dudes are like, fuck that. Fat dudes are like, fuck it. I get what he means, though. I just, yeah, you're right. He didn't use the right words. He says, fuck that or fuck it. Yeah. But he meant to say, fuck yes. Because the, yeah. the donuts are free. Yeah. Fat people are like, fuck that. Yeah, he meant <laughs> to say, fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm Buck. Esther's probably a freak. Hey, be cool, Brandon. <laughs> Eight inches B. Um, and uh, you know one part, and I'll end on this. I'll stop. Okay. All right. I know I'm boring you all. We do need some Addies, Michael. But I mean, then we'd stay up all night. Yeah. You know how how obsessed are these two with B? Hey, be cool. And it says <laughs> that's Johnson and Johnson B. Yeah, man. Yeah, we do this one day a week. <laughs> that's how obsessed we are. Right. I mean, we're fans. We're mega fans. Yeah. So um, aren't you? Yeah, I'm I'm amazed, honestly. But the part about the big dick, right? So I've been talking about this a lot, you know, saying... Oh, the closer. Got my own Ugg boots on, uh, night vision goggles right there, and big dick on me, <laughs> right? Right. Sorry about that. It's like, if the crowd would have known he would have done that twice more, I don't think they would have laughed as hard the first time. You know what I mean? I just, if you're in that crowd... You're part of history, and you're watching that joke as the closer, and he just says "big dick." You gotta, you gotta be like, "Wow, man, this is like." I feel like what people felt like when they saw George Carlton. Yeah, and this is like just Same such a seven huge, words. a huge moment in your life in comedy history. Eight inches. Yeah. All right. Still got the big dick. Sorry about that. It was a laugh track, B. <laughs> uh, you know, I, that's a that's a cheap way of saying that it was, you know, like. I don't know. I, I, there, there was is. a laugh track and that all those laughs tracked. <laughs> B. Yeah, laugh track with jokes that have legs on them. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Well, we did it. We finally saw the, the uh, San Jose Jack Johnson fight campaign companion. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. Thank you to Ben Davis. Thank you to Bapa. And thank you to Bradley Martin. Thank you to Gerardo. Thank you to that turtleneck, dude. Turtleneck guy. Whoever he was, he was a great man. George Carlington, great guy, never met him. I don't think they last the first time. Eight inches of laugh tracks. Well, I'll do more investigating, okay? Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, guys. All right, later. Have a good rest of your evening. Yeah, get some sleep. Bye. <laughs>